Test. Okay. You see waveforms showing up. Okay. Yeah, we're recording. All right. All right. Here's me. Yeah. There's you. We're here. My waveform it's... is so small compared to yours, but. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's you, not you the size of. You can't compare waveforms. It's not the size, right? It's yeah. the size of the wave, not the waveform, my man. It's how yeah, you use yeah. it. <laughs> it's the width of the wave. Oh, form. my God. Just got to bring the Actually, the comedy. size of the microphone matters a little, too. Actually, you know what? <laughs> None of you would have any experience speaking on that so like you don't know what matters you don't know what people's experiences are and you know but you you just are going we've all had to learn with the Uh, waveforms we were dealt with you're you're all going by what somebody has told you you have no firsthand experience uh sarah what if we like (laughs) we like to do like buy stuff you don't know what if we do butt (laughs) stuff you don't know (laughs) yeah you don't oh, know I'm sorry. I guess stuff. I'm assuming. Yeah, dude. I'm in a, I'm in a five-way waveform right now. So you're making some big assumptions about our I butt know, stuff. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And maybe our body I know counts. more than you know, Sarah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Why do you think I, I got know. a bidet? <laughs> <laughs> do you? Have, you don't have got one. Do you, Scott? Yeah, you got a bidet. You, you got a Wait, bidet. You got one? We talked yes. about this during Wait, your Wait, did party. you have one before? Yeah, yeah. I had one before the holiday party. Yeah. I feel like I didn't. No, I didn't remember seeing one in your bathroom. I don't even know if I looked. You use my bathroom when you come over? No, I, I literally have never <laughs> used your bathroom. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I would never. I would never use your bathroom. She goes to your, she goes to your things. I would never go to that I, disgusting place. She just takes bites out of your... I've <laughs> only gone in there to go look for Vader. I swear to she God. She takes I've bites never. out of your tub of potato salad while she visits <laughs> and puts it back. Do you guys oh have God, butter, b- never... butter bells? What? Butter bells? <laughs> What's a you butter bell? have butter bells? You, you know, you're that? supposed to keep butter bells. Are I mean, ideally, actually, wait, I do ideally, know what that is. you should keep your butter at room temp in a butter bell. Oh yeah, oh, right, right, right. Oh, you mean oh, you mean like those trays that you keep out? Oh yeah, no, my a parents bell, have that. A butter bell has like water, and it's like it's like you put the 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 butter, and then it goes into like this water thing, and it keeps what? it fresh. Yeah. Huh. Okay. No. I never. I never familiar with that. Yeah. Look up butter bell. Fascinating. Guys. Come on, dude. I will look up Do a butter bell. One? I don't, but I'm waiting for somebody to give me one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we know what to get you for your birthday. Do you keep your yeah. butter you out, butter. or do you keep it in the refrigerator? I mean, well, right now uh, we use the fake stuff. Oh, this oh, is. Use this is like a fascinating device. That's so strange. It's yeah. like it's like a it, it's like you a submerge upside it in down, water. Yeah, mm-hmm. keeps butter at the perfect spreading consistency by reflecting yeah. outside heat while insulating and cooling the butter. Oh, yeah, wow. we know. I know about <laughs> spreading consistency. If you know what I mean. I like it. <laughs> oh, the fascinated the tone in Marvin's voice as he reads <laughs> yeah, about dude. this. The butter yeah. bell crock is easy to use. You just, I gotta get you a. I'll get you a butter bell for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Oh That's yeah, fantastic. just put that put that butter in your bell. <laughs> uh, hello, we found everyone. our new sponsor. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> butter bell. Oh, that'd be sick. Get a butter bell sponsorship. Oh man, very is spreadable. There one, is there one with the Federation logo on it, like my teacup <laughs> situation? Come on, baby. They're <laughs> kidding. Whose voice is that? Is that Scott? Oh, oh yes. What? Oh yes. Welcome back. I'm back, everybody. Hi. We did. Holy we sense what episodes you want to watch. We we're sensing a theme. <laughs> what is the what is the new theme yeah, what being, is the being theme? put forth here? This one's just anytime Barkley shows up. You know. <laughs> yeah, this is only his second appearance. It's true. It's I think true. I think Scott likes Gnarls Barkley. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're uh, we watched the Scott, end. Scott, you degree. choose the good episodes. I mean, this was a good one. The interesting uh, ones. I this is the one I this is one of the ones I remember very much because BBC America would syndicate this. All the time, like you it's would also see this. flowers for Algernon episode. Yeah. Yes, it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. actually it's flowers for Algernon. That's not as devastatingly sad at okay. the end. Well, that's yes. <laughs> <laughs> flowers for Algernon is one of the few books that have made me cry at the end. Where I'm like, oh man, that's really bad. Now he's worse off than he's ever been. Oh, that's God. how the book ends. Uh, but, but it's yeah. definitely a tried and true trope, well, especially in sci-fi. It's like, hey, one person on your cast is going to become really smart. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then deal with it. But th- at least though, in Flowers or Algernon, he was just like like a really smart, nice guy. 
in, in this one, Barkley is trying to like kill everybody. So yeah, the, the well, I think it's a fairly common um, element <laughs> of the trope. I don't, to, I don't know if I, I agree with that statement, he Marvin. He yeah, turns into I, Hal essentially. No, yeah, but, but he's there not was trying to kill people. He's, 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 yeah. They think they it's nefarious. They give that impression. But he's not you don't nefarious. know he's not actually trying to kill yeah. everyone until it's over. Yeah, they make it <laughs> ambiguous, but they we do are deep into they, this episode, and we haven't even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't actually agree Sorry. with that analysis personally. Well, you agreed he was like Hal, where it's like, oh, this is like uh, 2001 no, I now. Meant he was like Hal in that like he's a computer that controls and talks to. I didn't really mean in like the intention. Well, there's one fairly direct like com- comparable point where he says, "I'm afraid I can't do that." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty it's pretty direct there. But he uh, doesn't make any offensive movements. Everything he does is defensive and then, you know, but again, we can get into it yeah, later. We'll get into that. <laughs> All right. Well, nth degree. That was an episode that aired on April Fool's Day of 1991. Really? Oh my God. What a wow. joke of an episode. I was <laughs> just about to turn one. It's true. You were still a little Beba in Canada. Mm. <laughs> Unless in Canada. you're Korean. But never mind. That's a, that's a stupid can of worms to open. No, yeah, they just they just changed the law in Korea saying that you are not one when you are born. So they they have changed that because Korea you are one when t- you're born. When you technically <laughs> was, be like nine months. Yeah, yeah so that's the, that's the Korean reasoning. Or so like the Korean a couple, reasoning like was eight that months or seven months, whatever month because you're because born you're in the belly, you are one years old when you're born. That was but not everybody's reasoning. in there for one year. I Actually, know, but the Koreans just said that, yeah. and then they, then they then they changed the law to make it. Uh, it's messy, dang it. it. Anyway, yeah. sorry, I brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, Dan. Let's go to around the sun to April Fool's Day of 1991. Whoa! It's unfortunate that you frame it that way because I have nothing April Fooly to give you in this trip. <laughs> the news um, is a joke. <laughs> yeah, the news definitely was a joke. There wasn't much actually that I found, so let's just get through it. TMNT oh two was still the top movie at the theaters, and not a whole lot of note happened on that front. But since this week's pretty slow, I'll look over at what the Simpsons doing. <laughs> and on March 28th, they had just aired the episode titled Old Money, which was the one for Grandpa falls in love with a fellow senior named B. Simmons, after which mm. she passes away and leaves him a fortune to spend. And I think mm. not many people actively remember that there is actually a sexy senior medication taking scene in that oh, episode. Oh, yes. I remember that very vividly, actually. <laughs> but not, I don't see anyone ever bring it up. It's just, it, it, they it's just splits really the quick. pills and pours on their tongue. Yeah, I was like, the, that's disgusting. Those there are taste lots so of, bad. There are lots of good <laughs> frames of animation you can pull from that scene. It's pretty <laughs> hilarious. All right. Two actual news items of note on that both have occurred on April Fool's Day. One, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that jurors cannot be barred from serving due to race. Explicitly, anyway. Oh. And also, April 1st, the U.S. minimum wage rose from $3.80 to $4.25. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> and guess what? Even after That's all that time, wild. we're still not far off from that dollar amount. Yeah. No. In 2023. No, it's not. Yep. It's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well... Wow, well, do you guys That's agree or not? What's wrong that, with you? What? <laughs> a lot of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, well, the wage has increased. Sad. Has a little increased, bit. But not, not enough to not keep pace with inflation. No. no. Yeah, pr- proportional to the amount of inflation that's happened between 91 and now, the amount that minimum wage is is not any different than whatever three dollars to four dollars back then so and the fact that people have to make such a herculean effort to try to Guys, raise it is uh, disgusting. scott scott people have to lift themselves up from their from their bootstraps dude their bootstraps. come on dude you gotta get with the program these people have to learn Look. about the bootstraps yeah. they gotta make the bootstraps first of all uh, some people are born with boots gucci boots some people are born with fucking moccasins dude like, or, or like my people fucking watches and then you gotta you got, you got make yourself a fucking uh, oh my God. A, a, a boot and yeah. bootstraps yeah. and then figure out how to pull them up well the people uh, that are making the boots and the bootstraps are not yeah, making yeah, yeah. a livable no, no, no. wage oh hold on no, no, no. how do you how do you <laughs> I should pull what is, 
They should pull what their is own the bootstraps. visual image of pulling yourself up by your bootstraps? I don't understand. Yeah, the, well, it's no, an inherently no. impossible act, which which was yeah. originally the point of the phrase. Oh, yeah. so the phrase was supposed to be mocking this stupid idea. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Wow. It's one really? of those. Okay. Yeah. And okay. now it's like yeah. actually like the... So, so the irony is completely lost. Okay. Yes, the irony <laughs> completely, completely <laughs> lost. That's time. wild. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's, just you know, just imagine you have some boots and some straps on. How are you going to put yourself up with those alone? That's that's stupid. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That, if you if you're looking at if you're in space and you have cowboy boots in space, you can do it. <laughs> totally do it. <sighs> yeah, they, the they're, they were looking to the future, Dan, to go to space. Well, just <laughs> do right. what Jeff Bezos did. He pulled yeah. himself up by the bootstraps, yeah. and he made yeah. a dick rocket. So yeah, yeah. yeah. the best. And one he worked in, the world. in his garage. I the, mean, the secret you know? the secret to success is sleeping eight hours a night. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's one that's, of that's one of these thousand habits of successful people. <laughs> yeah. If everyone could just do that, you'd be fine. You'd be a millionaire. Well, you know, you may not become a millionaire in your lifetime if you're listening to this podcast, but oh, you, you may feel like Who one. Knows? You could feel like one if you get a nice wallet from extra.com. <laughs> Nice, nice tie in. <laughs> yeah. Get that solid gold one and then you can pretend yeah, all you want. Get that fucking you solid go. gold extra wall. What would yeah. don't get Messi, the solid gold extra what kind wallet? Of, what kind of wallet would Messi have? <laughs> <laughs> you would just apparently just like a blue wallet with this logo on it. So well, <laughs> also I just, wanna, it. I just want to clarify something about the the extra offer we have. So people were confused because it seems like it's like, oh, it's just twenty five percent off, but they have sales. That are like 30% off. Like right now, they're having their Valentine's sale for 30% off. But it stacks with any sale that's going on. So if you see an offer on extra.com, it's 30%. Oh, get a little bit more off if you use our code newbie. So, Stack those babies up. That's pretty yeah, ideal. Can, yeah, get so your you, man you, a solid gold wallet. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yes, Valentine's Day. Is yeah, coming. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. If you want, get a nice, sleek, minimalist wallet for your significant other. Uh, it's much smaller than a conventional bifold wallet, but it has this cool little button that flicks out all these cards. The push of a button. And for quick access, look, I guarantee it'll impress the ladies for sure. When you pull out your wallet to pay for that date, you take her on. I saw Marvin when we were at the when we were mm-hmm. at the uh, when you were helping me out with the animal thing. I saw you pull that baby out and push that button. Oh, and I yeah. was like, "Fuck! Yeah. I gotta get me." I keep I saying, mean, "I gotta get that wallet." Yeah. It was like and I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> you know, I mean, what girl can resist that? I mean, that's yeah. just, it's we're like, good. don't worry, don't that's worry, that. babe. I got, I got dinner. Push the button. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I make a Sarah. minimum wage. I pull myself <laughs> off my bootstraps. That's right. <laughs> but oh my I God. got this wallet <laughs> yeah. this that's wallet. made up out of environmentally friendly and high quality yeah. materials like Italian leather, space grade aluminum, and carbon fiber. It also... I don't have that much money my t- money to my name, but it can't get stolen because this wallet has RFID blocking plates mm. that prevents thieves from walking by. Yeah, you know what? I don't have one of those wallets. And let me tell you guys, this weekend I got a notice that somebody tried to use my card to oh, send $115 <laughs> at... At, what was it? The Raising chicken canes. place. Raising yeah. canes. Oh, yeah. 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 Someone yeah. was just chicken, to treat How his much buddies. food do you have to buy at Raising Canes for $115? That's like 50 chicken no, strips. Someone Raising scored canes. your card and wanted to treat some people. <laughs> what? They're like, did you purchase $115 from Raising Canes? Someone what? stood up in the middle of the store and said, this round's on me. And everybody ordered a <laughs> meal. It's like, that's or like seven Sarah, box combos, actually. man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's way more, more. box combos. I mean, Raising Canes is, is affordable, you know? So, you know, if I just had this wallet, maybe I would be okay. But damn, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. I could go so, for I mean, a sweet tea. They were hungry. Yeah, yeah, they were hungry. Well, that if you toast to is be... good. The the toast for I like that. That's the only thing. The I Texas like toast. Yeah, yeah, the Texas I like toast. That. I like your tea. Well, if it's you happen to be toast. trying to spread your money around out of raising canes, but then you lost yeah. your wallet there, and you're like, shit, how do I find it? Don't worry, your extra wallet has a tracker on it that lets you locate it from anywhere in the world as long as it has a little bit of charge on it. Yeah. 
And then you'll really raise some cane. Yeah. yeah dude. Solar power if you tracker. like delicious, if you like sweet, sweet, crispy chicken, then you get <laughs> you go ahead and have raise some cane. <laughs> if you like the sweet, sweet taste of Texas toast melting me. in your mouth, <laughs> just it, go to raising canes. Yeah. If you like delicious, delicious, delicious. <laughs> it's a fine restaurant. <laughs> yeah, it's a fine, fine <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> They have, uh, it's a fine restaurant at fine prices. Raising Cane's. <laughs> not our sponsor. Back to, <laughs> back to, back to, not a and sponsor. And that dog's so adorable. Back to yeah. you, Exter. Uh, anyway, head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie. Or just when you check out at exter.com, that's E-K-S-T-E-R.com. You just, you know, use the offer code newbie as you check out. And that gets you up to an additional 25% off any order site-wide. And like I said before, this stacks with any ongoing sales. So there's no detriment to using that on top of any other sale they have going on. And yeah, also, it's, not like that, it's not like that Uno game where you can't stack fucking <laughs> cards all of a sudden, those bitches. <laughs> no, here you can stack them up. Stack them yeah, up. Stack, stack it up. up. Stack it up. Yeah. Stack it up. Free shipping. Nice. Any order over $50 or more. And free returns within 45 days of receiving your order. So you can just try that baby out for a month and a half and you're like... You know what? Maybe I don't want a wallet this nice. Maybe I got to pull up my bootstraps even further before I can hold on to this wallet. Yeah. Maybe I splurged too much on avocado toast and couldn't afford this after all. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Maybe I decided to fucking pay my rent instead of buying a fucking (laughs) dick skin wallet. (laughs) You know, Uh, people would complain about, oh, I'm not going to spend that much on a wallet. You know, and I used to say that about my kitchen garbage can. And I spent a good amount of money on a new kitchen garbage can where it's Mm. like, it's Mm. not the white plastic bullshit Mm -hmm. that you get at Mm -hmm. Walmart. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I haven't thought twice about that awesome garbage can. And I'm not comparing this wallet to the to a garbage can. I would (laughs) would say making a good investment on something like that. Cause like I say, I, the last few times I've been on, I keep saying, I'm going to get this wallet and I never do because I'm lazy and stupid. (laughs) But when you, when you whip that baby out and I'm talking about the wallet still, Mm. I was like, gosh, dang it. I keep, I said, you click that little button and your card popped out and I was like, God damn it. That's so cool. (laughs) And investing in an awesome wallet like that is like, I think you would just, you wouldn't look, twice about it same i I will say i have had it for two years and it's still like in perfect condition Uh, usually when i buy wallets like after about two years they're like a little worn out wait i want to hear about the trash can wait what made you feel like you know i should this this is a good investment like the trash can you throw away lots of like a really solid pedal (laughs) yes so i just i got sick of i probably went through about i don't know four or five different plastic crappy yeah. garbage mm-hmm. cans with a pop top or, a, you know, this top mm-hmm. and like, you know, with the amount, you know, you cook for yourself being, you know, living alone, cook for yourself, do all that. And I was like, God dang it. Oh boy. Here we go. I just, yeah, I know it's going to get sad. Everybody. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> just me and my cat. Just me, yeah. and my cat. just me and the cat. You know, you're cooking for uh, yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. And I was like, I, I, he's like, I you know what? Wa- if you, if you, if you, <laughs> I feel like Scott was like pitching for like for like a Match.com thing. He's like, look, yeah, you know, sometimes you cook for yourself, and then and then he rolled into our fucking ad for Match.com <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> or HelloFresh. You know, I, yeah, I just yeah. got sick of making all these <laughs> extra yeah. meals, and I'm through so much food waste. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then uh, uh, some friends of mine also had invested in an, in a nice garbage can. I'm like. Yeah, God, it's really rough to spend, mm. you know, four times the amount that you would spend on a shitty, you know, plastic garbage can. And, and you know what? I, that thing. Do you is, have a pedal? Great. Yeah, Scott yeah. has I a love Lexus. The pedal. The, love the, the pedal. Lexus of fucking uh, of trash yeah, cans. I do. <laughs> and now I need the Tesla of wallets. Yeah. Is it stainless steel? We have a stainless <laughs> yes. steel one. Yeah. It's the brush. I, w- I will say yeah. nice. every time yeah. I see their ad that says the Tesla of wallets, I always reply in the comments, "Please stop calling this the Tesla of wallets." <laughs> oh no! Did, did I say that on accident? I didn't yeah. mean to say yeah. that. <laughs> no, no. They literally, they legitimately have ads that say this is the, and they have started changing them. Oh, no. They stopped doing okay, it. Good. They, they good. call it, they're now calling like, it the oh, Apple does this of wallet wallets. just and I'm like, combust on yeah. its I'm like, own. okay, the is Apple that of wallets, that's better. No, they're, don't, just don't fantastic. compare it to anybody. You just, can just, just different saying. angle at this point, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think go, you have to keep <laughs> finding the thing of wallets to be. Yeah, you don't you have great wallets. You say it's the extra of wallets and people go, what the hell does that mean? Well, these wallets are made of fucking Apple cores. That's why. <laughs> I like it. So, we need to be uh, on their marketing team. The Cadillac of automobiles. It's the $80 <laughs> kitchen garbage can of wallets. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's what anyway, I anyway. Uh, okay. Anyway. Be- before we go, n- now that we that we did fucking ten minutes on trash cans, um, <laughs> uh, I, I I got the one that you just wave your hand and fucking oh, oh, you get the simple oh, human one. Oh, Ricardo yeah. fucking ten oh, minutes on trash man. cans. Let me talk about my trash can. <laughs> I love you it. You got love the it. wave one. Yeah, Damn, dude. oh shit, that's, that's, that's fancy. The, that's so, the fancy that's buy because you don't, don't have to put your foot in there. I don't. You just get you wave your hand. And it opens oh, wow. up. And is, is there a way trash. to make sure it stays up while you're like putting stuff? You can, in it? you can, if you oh, want. Wow, wow, wow. But but I but I don't. I just, I just I let it do its thing. You know, he wants to eat the trash, dude. <laughs> and let him. Do eat. you feel weird waving at it? Like just like, oh, a I feel weird. like a fucking Jedi. <laughs> yeah, it's like walking into a grocery store. You wave your hand yeah. to open the automatic doors. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Scott. I want to. Yeah. I want I can picture Scott doing that. Actually, yeah. Uh, I do, do, it you every every time. Yell, you, do you ever yell? You do it all the time. Do you yes. ever yell? You peasant robot. You peasant robot. Open the fucking door. <laughs> yeah. Scott. Do you like eat my garbage and then you put it? You wave your hand. Yeah. <laughs> open your mouth. Yeah. Trash hole. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> you receive my. Garbage in your trash hole. Uh, oh, we need shop. Extra.com. We, we, need, we need to stop doing 20 minutes of trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> Offer code newbie at extra.com. Also, oh boy, there's no, no transition go. to this. This is ExpressVPN. You guys know it's a great VPN. It's super fast, it's super secure. Works on 3,000 plus servers in 160 locations spanning 94 countries. No activity logs, no connection logs. Governments have tried to extract information about users from Ex- ExpressVPN and they got nothing because they're true to their word. It also actually works on streaming services and like some other VPNs where, you know, uh, they, can, they can't keep up with the blacklists that Netflix keeps making of, v- of IP addresses and stuff. And, you know, if you sign up right now at expressvpn.com, slash newbie star trek and you sign up for 12 months you're going to get an extra three months for free which makes the whole thing 49 percent off and no risk to you 30 day money back guarantee if you don't like it for whatever reason so again expressvpn.com slash newbie star trek sign up for 12 months you get an extra three months for free All right are we ready are we ready for denise crosby to let you let you guys know about this. Yeah. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened in this episode? Hello, Denise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Ricardo, um, please tell us. First of all, I want to make a statement. It was coming oh. to my attention that some people, quote, quote, people, were insulted by some of the things I said. They said, "Oh, you're you're insulting your audience," and uh, <laughs> I, apparently, some people were insulted. And I want to apologize because I wanted to insult everybody, not just some of you. <laughs> uh, so I apologize for that. Also, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I want to insult yeah, whoever like, I want. What? But, fuck you. But also, again, if you're a new listener, look, this podcast isn't for everybody, and we get it. Look, there's tons of podcasts. There's a Joe oh, Rogan yeah. podcast. I don't listen to it. Not into it. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? <laughs> they don't leave them bad comments. But it, but but do leave <laughs> us bad comments because because uh, it helps our rating. So whoever leaves bad comments, I appreciate you. Yeah, um, do. I just don't like wasting my time. <laughs> Joe Rogan is never going to read it. Um, I should quit so, showing Ricardo these. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're gonna get a segment uh, every episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but but it's okay. Uh, give us your bad uh, reviews or whatever you want because that okay. helps. No, so, I have you know, a, I have a good. I have. Can I say? Am I allowed to reveal what happened today? It's not no, really a reveal. Can't. It's pretty public information. You, you bought Titanic tickets. No. <laughs> have to know that for? I did. You bought, we bought tickets to Titanic. And Jonathan, 3D. Oh Jonathan, Jonathan Frakes liked. Yeah, a tweet, from and then us. he's then he said I insulted <gasps> people, so fuck him, dude. <laughs> he saw he saw I one of our TikToks. He saw he saw one of our TikToks, and he liked it. <gasps> it's true. That'll, that'll happen eventually. I don't <laughs> think awesome. happened. I, I don't and think I it wonder was if it was about. No, we could have got an entire series without ever yeah. getting any interaction from any from any cast it member. It was about him. It was about him. So I wonder if he saw it and laughed and was just like, "Oh my god, this is stupid." Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I right. think <laughs> which, uh, you know what you know which, what I think. 
I think one of his kids or his grandkids controls his fucking <laughs> account. <laughs> and account, I think yeah. they're like, oh, that's funny. And then oh he, my they god, liked it. or maybe it's one of those mistaken likes where celebrities yep. like like naked oh, pictures shit. of oh. people yeah. like porn on their Twitter. <laughs> he, he, so was he was trying like, to he was trying to double click it to expand it like Instagram, yeah. and he liked oh, it yeah, accidentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and he, yeah, yeah. Uh, how many, how how many times have we have one of us liked porn accidentally on on Twitter? It happens, you know. Who has it? Which which TikTok was it? Do you know? Uh, It was the one that where it's about him, where he had. We were like, oh yeah, he's making the accent the, and then we were like, oh the dubbed actor came in, and then it was like all about him saying Diana Spanish accent, yeah, the Diana, yeah, exactly. So that's it was one. It was released today, right, Marvin? So he saw it on Twitter. We tagged him. He saw it and he liked it. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, that's so cool. He's so will we or he like you everything? Book. Like, like <laughs> he, he just right. goes and likes everything he's tagged on. Maybe yeah. you know? <laughs> that could be it. That could Honestly, be it. I think it's just more of like, oh, someone tagged me. Cool. And then yeah, <laughs> he, he, he he's, he's like a, it. he engages. So I listen. I've I have listened to a couple of other. Um, Trek podcasts in the God past. He's Scott. Yeah, get not, the fuck out of here, dude. To, yeah, but God damn it, you're, you're the only one that will have me. I've tried to get on the other ones. No, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> he's he engages with the fans. He's he's like he's very cool. He he's a very down to earth. Oh yeah, kind of dude, when, so that's whenever awesome. he's at a convention, I mean, I haven't met him before, but people have I know have met him, and they're they're very much he's like, real. He spends yeah. a lot of time just talking with you. Like they, he won't just be like, "Oh, what's your name? Here's your autograph." Bye. I really yeah. hope we made they're him like, laugh. Like because like, that. TikTok was ridiculous, and I yeah. really hope he saw it and was like, <laughs> like chuckled. I bet he, lo- I bet he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was to counteract the negativity online with a positive. It's fine. No, uh, it's, the negativity negativity it's not negativity. Is great too. <laughs> Sarah, the negativity is good. The negativity gets his uh, like higher uh, rankings. Yeah, you engagement. want that shit? That's true. Yeah. Yep. Also, uh, if if you're listening to the whole thing and I insult you halfway through the podcast, you listen to half, fucking half the podcast. But for those <laughs> listeners who have been listening to this podcast for a long time, thank you. We really appreciate you. We know you fucks with us. So yeah. that's cool. We love um, it. All right. Valerie, shout out to Valerie. Um, <laughs> what, you know, Valerie, she's, she sends in emails. Um, all right. <laughs> so the episode no, starts off. It's, um, what's her you name? Mean, do you mean Jackie? Yeah, Jackie. Jackie, Valerie, all of them. Uh, all of them. So oh the episode starts off, and uh, <laughs> they're doing Cerno de Bergerac. Oh, yeah. And I was excited, because this is one of my favorite. It's a classic. I like this, I, I like this a lot. I uh, love the wishbone version. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, well, who I doesn't like love the, the wishbone version wishbone. of anything nah, the best I mean, part is that like wishbone himself inside of the depiction it's uh, of the episode like he's the ugly one but he's an adorable dog he's an, he's the most beautiful dog <laughs> yeah he's like an adorable jack russell tear it's like oh i'm so hideous it's like Wait, <laughs> i don't, I don't know this why is his nose like this what's with the weird nose that's that's Cyrano de bergerac you never heard, yeah. I mean, do you know the story <laughs> of no, de Berger- i don't okay so the 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 premise of Cyrano de Bergerac is he is in love with another woman, but who Roxanne. he's known his whole life. Yeah, but he he is <laughs> by the standards of the time super ugly, and it depends on <laughs> the interpretation. The but, the, the tradi- but the traditional interpretation yeah. is the long nose. They just did they just did the remake with Peter Dinklage, and I that one that was... it's because he's a, a dwarf. Wasn't so it a that's... trigger that could set him off? Like if you like. I don't or, think or that's the correct a, way to refer a, there's to. There's a scene early on in the book, of, I believe. You're Pinocchio, dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, where the guy who like insults his nose and and then he like you know like completely roasts him in return because yes, he made yes, one yes. comment about his yeah, nose. because he's he's uh the in in turn he's extremely intelligent and especially when it comes to like yeah. prose and stuff. He's he's and like then, Eminem. He's like he, the guy he, with like, the nose. Like, you mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, the guy he's with the nose rapper, is rapper, dude. Yeah. He's got really? fucking rhymes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's and that's spaghetti. why. And so and so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he knows how to cook really good spaghetti. And so yes. um, he fucking drops mad rhymes on people. And one of his friends is like, hey, I want to bang this chick. And he's like, I'll drop some mad rhymes. You recite them to her and she'll fall in with you. Turns out the girl he loves is a girl he loves. Mm-hmm. Oh. So it's a. It's and a, she it's falls a, in love with the rhymes. Yeah. yeah that's so why she falls, she falls in love, in love with, with him. the friend. Yeah. 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 Uh, but, but the friend is just a byproduct. It's all about the rhymes. Yeah. The ladies, and, and then it becomes back in the like. Day, yeah. Ladies were all into the raps. 
Okay. Yeah. I mean, they still yeah. are. I mean, yeah. come on. So, so does she end up with the guy with the nose or the no nose? You, you, don't tell not? her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. You gotta watch it. I, I, I will say, it. it depending on the interpret the uh, adaptation, yeah. it does change the ending. That's true. So yeah, yeah because so. you can you can do stuff with the nose. Well, yeah. You get, you get, <laughs> oh, we know, dude. We know. <laughs> That's the only consideration here. It's a yeah, long it's not, nose. It's not all bad, you know. We can, <laughs> we can work. We can work with it for yeah. sure. That's um, but this amazing. dude. Just imagine like like yeah, Drake, you have to but he had a big it. nose. You know what I mean, <laughs> um, he had a long nose. <laughs> the way they do it here is so ridiculous. So was it really that long? Yeah, it was like, like that. It was like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. the way they would do it. Well, imagine, it's like a pretty stereotypical yeah. depiction. Yeah, imagine for theater. Yeah. Like they can't tell he's ugly unless the nose is large Why enough. Why does so the... having a large nose make you ugly? I don't. Back understand. in the day, Sarah, you're thinking in modern terms. You had a time travel back in the those days. And if you uh, know having, how to use it, it's fine. Back then, they, they didn't think that. They, <laughs> you think people you know you use Sarah. From a distance. Sarah, think about think about think about when this play was made. You think oh, people okay. were going down on people back then? Everyone was stinky, Probably dude. Not. Everyone was stinky as shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, people, people, no hygiene, dude. People were. This is during a time where people would involuntarily cream their pants when someone showed them some ankle. Yeah, be like, dude. oh my god, it's the hottest yeah. shit I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. And then you know, so is your source on this reliable? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, quick, quick, quick trivia on this. So the one of the original uh, incarnations of Cyrano de Bergerac, I think it was like in the fifties. The character of Cyrano de Bergerac was played by Jose Ferrer. Ferrer, mm-hmm. uh, who is George Clooney's uncle, coincidentally. Oh, crazy. oh I know that. That's wow. cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. okay, he was cool. he was married to Rosemary Clooney. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, so, um, anyway, he does a performance. It's fucking god awful. He's he's a shit actor. <laughs> he's fucking bumping into things. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he is. He's missing his he's cues. Forgetting his lines and missing his cues. And uh, But by the way, by the end of this episode, I fucking love this actor. This oh, actor? yes. He's a fucking Rob actor? It's too Joy bad Schultz. he's a fucking crazy person now. But uh, Is he? The perform- yeah. No. He's, tell us. Is, yeah. He, is he a... In what way? What are you talking about? He's, he's kind of... He's like... He turned like super, super... Like super right wing. Like not just oh, slightly no. right wing. He's like... Mm. super. No. He like... He like wrote articles for Breitbart and oh, like he claimed gosh. that Obama is yes. gonna force everyone to get sex change operations and oh, stuff like that. So that's I mean, well, he's right, but <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. So it's um, unfortunate. It's yeah. it's kind of unfortunate, but this, it, I mean, this performance is still really good in this episode. <laughs> so, Dwight Schultz. Uh, yeah, he Dwight kind of looks like. Uh, from he's a, he's uh he's from the team, right? Yeah, he also yeah. looks like Teabag's dad, doesn't he? He looks a little bit. <laughs> like yeah, I, I can see that, like Teabag's dad while young. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so anyway, yeah. so so uh, young Teabag, he he's like, oh yeah, I've been. He, he talks to Deanna. He's like, yeah, I've been I've been rehearsing forever and stuff. And so uh, the team, the whole team, they're um they're fixing some solar panels or some fucking some bullshit. They're, they're the James Webb yeah. telescope. It reminded yeah. me yeah. of. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little this, bit. This is kind of cool. Looks really good. Uh, I don't yeah. know if it's the Blu-ray or it looked that good back then too. But I remember as we were watching, I was like, "This these special effects look really good." This episode, yeah, the like, design looks really cool. Yeah, yeah. and I also the, like the name Argus. Anything with a lot yeah. of eyes deserves to be called an Argus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. And, yeah. It's cool. And I like I I like um it, it, <laughs> once in a while, and by once in a while, I I mean all the time. I want Riker to be like, fuck you, and just fucking backhand people. And just like don't <laughs> don't take the route of diplomacy. Do, do not. Just just go, you're fucking wrong. Like and then just backhand somebody. Yeah, uh, yeah. and this was one of the times where I just wanted someone to backhand smart broccoli rob. Um <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they have to go fix this telescope, and so Jordy's got to pick somebody to go with him. By the way, mm-hmm. on the bridge, I love seeing revolving people on as as drivers, you know, mm-hmm. as pilots. Oh yeah, that's been happening. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, and here's a complaint of mine though: Why the fuck is 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 being a pilot of a fucking flagship ship not important? I don't, know. I don't know. Why? Yeah, I feel why? Like it why give us? Stu- why are all the student drivers fucking driving the <laughs> shit, dude? That's I don't true. It might be. It might be because it's not actually difficult, and that like the com- the computer kind of does most of it. Maybe then why so, have them at all? Then it, I don't it, know. It's, it seems it's pretty kind of, important to me. 
just to that, like kind of like have, you drive have have them you know learn. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like for what reason? It, like yeah. it seems insulting, almost. Like, oh, like it's, it's, it's never like, anything that Data really couldn't flying. also do from whatever console it's he's not, at. It's yeah. not anything they couldn't just say. Computer, turn thirty yeah. degrees. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it so, might have just been. Maybe it's a symptom of precedent where you know they needed to put Wesley on there somewhere, and that's the role he assumed for a while. It could also be while. like a protocol thing. You know, like how airlines like. They don't need the co-pilot for a short flight, but they always will have a co-pilot just in case, right? You know, well, they need so them. You know, they they, they dies, need dude. them because if someone passes out, then yeah. Well, well, it's like the same thing here. The computer is really the pilot, right? But they still have what if the, com- what if the computer the pilot. passes out? Well, the, the computer fucks up. You know, the computer. <laughs> but can they're fuck still up. they're still like like in entering directions and and speeds and stuff. Like it's not. <laughs> You're like, what if yeah, the computer shows up drunk to work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, like, what probably, if the computer is a virus and you got to do things more manually? You know, it, it could be. Oh, yeah. That, like, manually. The, the, like, the, <laughs> <laughs> they're a backup it's a, or something. Yeah, it's, it's a redundant system, potentially, just to have the people on there. But it's also, I would say, it's it's that experience. It's like, okay, we'll get the ensigns on the bridge. And then, okay, they did that. They did that very well. All right, let's get them into engineering. Or, you know, let's get yeah. them into the science department. Or it's actually you know, like, really difficult because- so It doesn't feel you're, like you're it saying, should be a student role, yeah. though. Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't. It, it, you're, 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 you're in the thick of it. Sometimes they have to, like, bug out of there. Like like in this episode, what if she was, she was panicking oh, yeah. and she fucked up? Like, yeah. well, there's so many things that could happen. She didn't fuck up, though. She didn't actually fuck uh, up. Marvin, she did okay. She what didn't fuck if, up. Dude, she hit the buttons. What if? <laughs> well, to, also, to be fair, this is actually not that, in real life, that unusual. Have you ever, have you ever heard of the Costa Concordia? That, oh, yeah. Like, the, oh, yeah. The, when the, when the dude was trying to fuck a chick and he let her drive? Yeah. And she crashed <laughs> yeah. the chick? Yeah, that, the, that was the captain. Yeah. But, the, the, but one of the large... So, for people who don't know, the Costa Concordia... <laughs> Was a was a basically like a carnival cruise that oh uh, it was like the largest shipwreck since the Titanic yeah. actually, <laughs> and it happened like a decade ago or something, and a lot of people yeah. died actually when they didn't a need to. A lot of people died. Oh no! Yeah, because yeah. because the captain was trying exactly. to get laid. What? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The captain was distracted, was trying to fuck oh his girlfriend. God. Um, but the and then he left the, the ship. By the way, yeah. Then Just he then he spoiler alert. The <laughs> How did he leave the ship? He jumped He off jumped her. into one of the he jumped the fuck off. Yeah. He got on one of the wow. very first lifeboats to get off yeah. the ship. He, and then the Coast Guard was saying, yeah. get your ass back yeah. on the ship. Yeah, the Italian anyway. Coast Guard was like, fucker, get back on the fucking <laughs> ship. Captain, <laughs> don't you know the captain goes down with the ship? Did you learn nothing from Titanic? The crazy part is... Before he jumped on the lifeboat, oh he went, he he changed back into his suit to blend in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So the, the, the point I'm bringing it up is because one of the reasons why it was such a fucking disaster is because the helmsman, like the person driving the boat, was also just some guy. Like he was apparently a Filipino guy who before this had just moved to Italy and thus didn't speak English or Italian very much at all. So like when they were giving him orders, he was like, I don't know, I guess I'll turn. So th- that was like, like a huge a part of the issue. But that's Wait, what I'm saying. So like there's a precedent for he this was a happening. phony. He was a phony captain to begin with. Yes. And he, that's why they well, got too close to the coast and hit the rocks. And yeah, the ca- he's like, it's unclear what his like progression as captain was. But it, before he was a captain, he was like head of security or something. Yeah. So he was oh, like, he was yeah. essentially like head security guard. And then he became a captain. So it's unclear what the how you get promoted to a captain of a ship from there. I don't know, but wow. th- all this is to say, I can still imagine it happening <laughs> because <Yeah. laughs> if it happens to like a cruise ship, well, also, but it's kind of weird because it is like the Enterprise, which is like yeah. you know the the most important ship. You know, <laughs> well, so and, I don't know. And where it's also a bridge situation where very few times there seems to be where a bridge is in like just a pilot and no one else who right. could be private and, you know, try to do something of their own personal, you know, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, before we move on, though, I wanted to point out like two things about that scene with the Cyrano acting. One, I think mm-hmm. it's a call. They we got a call back on the blue dress Deanna is wearing. Oh, Wait. well, it's like even yeah, it's the it's the I blue dress she was wearing from the the holodeck. I think yeah, I think it's the exact yeah. same what? one. Yeah, I think it's the same one from yeah, his after, holodeck, like his fantasy dreams? where well oh, yeah like, really oh, yeah one cool. of the yeah one of the really? first ones. Okay, this is yeah. very. And awkward, the other though, thing like, is yeah. Data hates. <laughs> 
Barkley's yeah. acting so much. He's well, so Well, Tate is like, mad. it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, he's the only he's one with emotions. He's like, <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, I love it's, it's funny because like you, you wouldn't think that Data would be the one who's emotional, right? But he's the most emotional one. <laughs> well, he Data's, Data's trying he to understand, understand how much he hates it. He's just like, he's, yeah, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> he's tried his hand at acting a bit, right? At this point, yes, Data has, yes. And yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. yeah, so he's like, why are you? Apl- I if I was like this, people would be laughing at me as an android, and you're giving this guy a bravo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's because it's polite, Data. Right. Yes, right. <laughs> Riker's like, it's fucking polite. Clap your <laughs> fucking hands. <laughs> uh, like, I don't know if, how many people on this podcast have watched Spaced, but uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of that performance art that they go to see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, then so, what? Yeah. it's So then fucking they do the whole acting thing and then fucking Jordy's like hey I gotta go check this telescope out you should go with me and he's like oh really he's like yeah dude you're you're my he's like you're my number one guy <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and, uh yes, and so he's like he's like all right cool let's go and then I feel like Jordy set him up for failure here because he's like hey go go shoot a like a like they're probing this thing that they found right and he's like mm-hmm. yeah go go shoot this thing with the with a laser dude Poke it with a laser. Basically, he's like, hey, here's a stick, dude. Poke it. Yeah. <laughs> and then Journey yeah. does poke like it, kind of command him through that whole sequence yeah. there. Do do yeah. all these yeah. things that I know aren't gonna work, and then we can get back to the ship. Yeah. 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 And then and then the thing like like lights up and Jordy's blind, so he doesn't fucking <laughs> see anything. But yeah, fucking, Jordy's like, I guess yeah. I'm fine. I have the yeah. visor. <laughs> yeah, the visor. And then Broccoli <laughs> Rob fucking is on the floor. And so um they take him to Beverly, and I, I thought, fuck, dude. Beverly's really gonna kill him. <laughs> and, uh, and Barkley's dead. Yeah, he wakes up and he's like, "Oh fuck!" And then so he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go send some lab work to get done. We'll, we'll, I'll get I'll get it back to you in a couple of days." And then Rob <laughs> Broccoli Rob's like, "Hey, don't worry, I could fix your shit, and they'll be done in a few hours." And they're like, "What?" Somehow, yeah, somehow. And even even right away, even like as soon as he wakes up and he starts talking, you could tell immediately like. That's why I think like th- this is a good bit for this actor because you immediately could tell like he's got so much confidence and like it's a real well he corrects he tells Beverly that there's a different way yeah. to treat him that she, yeah. she yeah. wouldn't even think of he, he he does he does what that lady did to Deanna which is like no yeah. you're absolutely wrong <laughs> <laughs> wait you're Play wrong yep. but, you're absolutely wrong that yeah. <laughs> and so yes. um this probe that they fucking poked is chasing him and they're like oh well let the let the student driver fucking take the helm don't worry about it and they're like all right let's, let's get out of here and they go faster and faster and they can't they can't escape it and finally they're going fast and they can't use their shield they can't blow it up because they can't use their shields because well, the nice have- part also is they're actually listening to Worf. yeah, yeah and yes. Worf is giving like actually good advice they're like, I rec- like, okay, good. We're putting up shields. I recommend we should shoot it. Yeah. And Picard goes, yeah, let's shoot it. He's like, oh my God, Picard actually like, listen to me. This is uh, great. <laughs> yes. <know>. Let's, <laughs> and let's shoot it with phasers. <laughs> and, if it, and they can't shoot it with, with the photon torpedoes because it'll blow up the ship. Too close. Too close. Too close. Mm. But then Broccoli Rob fucking steps in and he's like, oh, he does all these moves. And he's like, oh, you can shoot it now. And the, the shields go from like, you know, whatever, 75% to like 300%. And, yeah, and Jordy's yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what the fuck went wrong. Did yeah. Know? But he got it right. Do all the weird yeah. phony science and engineering and, and, and somehow right we're at 300%. Right here is when I think, oh, this baby is exactly like Phenomenon. You guys remember Phenomenon? Oh, yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Travolta. When uh it's John Travolta, it. John Travolta movie where he like he like sees a UFO or something and then like he, he starts getting really smart and then he, he <laughs> Oh okay. he has like do you guys remember that one at all? Uh, no, it's I it's 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 definitely that's one of those. That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think, oh, this is phenomenon. Great. I love this. This is gonna be awesome. And also a couple of things already that mm-hmm. I noticed was that Jordy's jealous and I hate that. I hate yeah. that he's so petty. He, he yeah. I think I think that's like the only weakness of the episode that I noticed. I think uh, LeVar Burton wasn't actually given proper direction. You look at the yeah. actual dialogue, you could play it as just curious or you could play it as jealous as he was told to probably 
at least directed to play, or maybe he just chose to because he wasn't given direction. And I think mm-hmm. that was the wrong play because later yeah. on, he's the one who sticks up for him and says, well, he's not doing anything wrong. Yeah, He's yeah. just weird. So I think that's probably like a directing problem where he wasn't told to be like, because you're Deanna just like, had- yeah. Deanna had that curiosity, like she was like, why? And then he's kind of looking at her as he walks off the stage after giving this like amazing acting performance. And she's not, she's impressed, but she's like, what the fuck is going on? And that's like you say, that's Jordy is like, this guy's showing me up and he's, like yeah. a, you know, he's turning dickish on him. It, yeah. Yeah. But it also brings in like, I don't know if we've gotten to it yet, but the whole like the rank questions like during the episode, I was just like, Oh my God, you know, people were like side eyeing him when he broke rank to come up with, you know, a solution for something. Cause he and came up with a like, torpedo solution that yeah. uh, made sure that their like, shields can be 300% so that they yeah, can survive. And it's just like, they were all like, how could you speak out of turn and like show Jordy up, you know? And I just was like, this is the problem. Like it's very like military is like so the whole the whole protocol thing like I, I i can i can get the annoyance from the protocol thing it's like all right you have these great answers but you're just you're you're subverting everything that you've been trained to do and now you're just doing it rather than saying jordy do this but obviously he realizes that taking that I time mean, to try to do it they and in tell like jordy a life what to or do death situation well that but that's the thing is like if he took the time to tell jordy how to do the thing that they were supposed to do they would be dead yeah. so yeah. Exactly. So he, yeah. I feel like so this, so it's like it. members of this podcast weren't as kind to say Shelby back when she broke rank, yeah, and went behind her back, and you know for for worse reasons, of course. But it, I think it it's feels very like- situational. Like I think it de- like life or death. I don't think anybody. Who, you know, who's Shelby? She, <laughs> she was your favorite. She was the other from, like from first best of in, both worlds. Yeah. yeah, she was the one who was like trying to replace Riker, the blonde lady. Oh yeah, the one the old man was like, "Oh, you gotta watch yeah. out for her." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I buy that for a dollar. Watch out for her. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a she's got a big butt on her. Yeah. Um, yeah. They are. They are. But I just think I, it's I mean, life or death. I feel like whoever has the best idea, fucking speak up. Like I don't. We're gonna also die. to be fair. At that point, I don't know if Picard said it out loud, but he did say, "I'm willing to entertain options, everyone." So yeah, he did, he yeah. Did, he opened I it did. up to, yeah. to the floor. So yeah. so that that's why I, that that's why is that he's like broadcasting that out to the entire ship whenever he's whenever he's written his out of options. Like, I, Everybody, I'm very scared. Can yeah. someone help? Me? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm taking suggestions um, from all personnel. <laughs> uh, you don't please. have no context. You just hear his voice. Yeah. And it, it's like a Discord server or a yeah. Twitch chat where they turn off subscriber only mode and suddenly just fills with these suggestions. And he's like, oh, shit, I don't know what I mean, one. life or death, anybody can, you know, if you have an idea. And then you hear like an eight year old saying, you're hacking, you're hacking. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So basically, he, 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 he oh, like pulls rank and then. The thing is that they, they don't really get mad at him. Or as anti-rank. As, like, they're, they're, yeah. they're jealous. They're, like, Jordy's a little jealous. But then he does the fucking play, dude. He does a play and he makes fucking Beverly cry, dude. Well, he he's oh like, my God. cry. He's like, yeah, he's like, yeah. Uh, to be or not Oh, he to does be, the rehearsal. Okay, but my thing was, this was during the a rehearsal, track. right? Yeah, like, yes. yeah it was So rehearsal. why why were they having a rehearsal during such a critical time where I felt like, do we have time for a rehearsal? Sarah, the theater because does not these wait. stories need to progress, <laughs> Dan. Like, I was just like, weren't we <laughs> trying to figure out an urgent matter? And now we're just, we have time for the- theatrical Sarah, rehearsals? Sarah, like, I don't the show understand. must go on. When I'm, when Data's I'm, life was on the line, Picard still took time to go fencing before figuring out. Right. His, <laughs> hey, and when the Titanic was sinking, what did that quartet do? They just that's that's right. Right. Yeah. didn't they? They yeah. played on. The sh- yeah, yeah. So when it's finals week, you know, they're still practicing for the play. You know. <laughs> yeah, they still got a. They still have a performance to do. You that's know? right. That stop. They're actors. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. At the I end, Barclay will have craft. Yeah, you'll tell her that it's been an honor. Yeah. yeah. So and, she and was moved to tears? Is there a reason <laughs> yeah. why she was crying? Is it because like, oh, he's got a die. big brain now? Because it, so, it was so deep. It was a deep performance. Yeah, yeah. performance was beautiful. It was pretty good. Have you ever seen uh, Tommy Wiseau perform? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Tears every come, time. Come on, baby face. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anything for my princess. <laughs> <laughs> Over time, that's become my favorite uh, is this color the, or so. Is this the Because it's so sing songy. Yeah. And it's like yes. who would who would do that ever? <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you, motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, everyone always says, oh, hi, Mark, which is fun. But yes, anything is. for my princess no. is just <laughs> like, <laughs> what? I also like, oh, hi, doggy. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> well, That's a better oh, hi. All line the oh, hi. Yeah. The, the, the flower shop scene is the greatest scene in cinema. I don't care what it anybody says. D- I hold that that is the best encapsulation of the room to show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The one little yeah, scene. The entirety yeah. of that scene. You have yeah, to start yeah. from like the, the establishing shot of San Francisco yeah. that goes on too long. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then <laughs> screen of San Francisco. And then watch him park and get yeah. out of the car yeah. and walk into the store. <laughs> He takes his glasses off. Oh, I didn't know it was you. The flower shop keeper. Ah. Like he's Clark fucking the, Kent. The only shame is that it was a real flower shop and not some like weird fake flower shop that he was shooting at. Yeah. It, it was yeah. all yeah, fucked it, up. It, at least it established that he's their favorite customer. The, yeah. the, the best part is. <laughs> You're always my uh, favorite customer. The reason why he said, oh, hi, oh, doggy, is because on the actual day of when they went to the flower shop, like the dog was shockingly still. To the point where when other crew members were just walking nearby, they're like, oh, shit, there's a dog here. <laughs> so, so that's why. Good dog. <laughs> hey, man, you got to work with what you got on the day of. <laughs> it's problem solving. And, that's filmmaking. And then these, the, they, they have a meeting and they're like, Hello, okay, back to the fucking stupid fucking telescope. <laughs> How are we going to fix it? <laughs> and they're like, well, uh, it'll take days because we got to do one panel at a time. Jordy's saying it. And then, and then uh, uh, Broccoli Rob's like, nah, fuck that shit. I could do it all in one <laughs> shot, dude. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, he's like, Jordy, you help me. And we're going to fucking figure this out, dude. He's like, if you do this, this and that, and, you know, you get a, you need a, you need some masking tape. You need a four by four <laughs> uh, yep. and you're in fucking good, dude. And he's a like, couple of he's, yeah. and they're like, they're like, okay, well, well, okay. Work on that. And then let us know. And data says mm-hmm. like, yeah, that seems like it, it could work. And so he sets a, a, a meeting for the next day in the morning. And then the oh morning comes, God. and he's not there. And they, uh, he, Jordy's like, "Where the <laughs> yeah, fuck is Broccoli this, this Rob?" Is a twist. This is a yeah. good twist. Yeah, and then, he, and then, has a, he has a problem with like attending meetings on time from the last yeah. episode too. Like, well, he seems like issue. me. That, that I, yeah. I, I relate to that part. Um, <laughs> and I so, intentionally <laughs> enter Zoom meetings late so that I don't have to yes. be the one in the Zoom meeting first. Yeah, and then Wait other for people the host to start the meeting. No, oh, no, I and just never ever want to be the second one on. I think, no, no. I, think I go I in when I see five people in the room and I go, okay, I can enter. My mic is auto muted. I, I think I've told you guys about the time <laughs> that I that I got to a meeting on time. Mm. And then the producer was talking about how his dad had just died and he started crying. Oh, oh, oh. shit. And and I I just I just turned off my camera in my audio and I was like, <laughs> I, I, I can't. I can't. Oh, oh no. my I can't God. go out of this shit, dude. Oh, no. Um <laughs> <laughs> um and so that's how you learn lessons not to show. <laughs> uh, so entering a meeting on time, time. Yeah. never yeah. Yeah. yeah never be on time. Yeah. One Always time be a couple at, of minutes late. at a certain place, Marvin and I worked at. We had meetings every week, mm. and we would try to waste time as much time as we could. Yeah, but not not talking about work. Yeah, and then one time I was having a a sit off with a, my supervisor to see <laughs> who, who could sit in the meeting room for the longest. <laughs> yeah. And so the what? meeting ended like at three and I'd stay there till like six 30 <laughs> with my supervisor. Yeah. It was, it was like a staring contest. Yeah. It, it was like a staring contest, but, but you sat in the room to see who a could sit contest. there the longest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my God. Their feet on the whole time. Wow. No, no, no it, it was a lot in, in person meeting. This is, this is oh back when goodness, we were okay. in an office. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, okay. And, yeah. and the meeting went so long that somehow by the end of the meeting, I had a raise. I had gotten a raise. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah don't so explain it any more than that. That's the yeah. exact yeah. amount of detail that story requires. Is that what yeah. I have to do to get a raise? Yeah. 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 I'm going to try it. You actually have to go uh, in and then sit in the room. Yeah, you go, I'm not leaving until I get a raise or we'll be here all day. (laughs) We'll be here all all day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and the deal was you'll get a raise, but you have to walk out of this room first. Hence losing, you know? (laughs) 
<laughs> and I said, all right, if, oh, if I wow. get this dollar amount, I'll walk out of the room first. Oh, <laughs> and my I got God. It. So I walked That's out. That's <laughs> fucking um, awesome. So back it. to Broccoli Rob. So Broccoli Rob turns out he's in the holodeck and you think like, oh, he's in there fucking, yeah. you know, making out they with the They set it up again. where you think that he's, he's jerking back at off. it again. Yeah. The, the, you yeah. know what the and plot Jordy's twist could have been? And going to go there like trying to find him. Well, at this point, you can't possibly actually expect it to be the usual, but. Well, no, you, wait. You know what have been, in my, in my imagination, Dan, you know what it was? I what? thought they're going to go in there. And he's getting macking down on real Deanna, the real oh, Deanna. Oh, 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 damn. Like they, they, turn off, they turn off the simulation and she's still oh, yeah, there. And, really and he's like, oh, he's like that would have been a crazy twist yeah. where he's like, yeah. you're oh, fucking with God. holodeck Deanna again? This is fucked up. And then Doherty goes, freeze, yeah. uh, Computer turn off, off program. That would have yeah, been off. quite the twist. And, it's and, and that would have opened up and quite she, a few discussions. Yes. And then she's still there. She's still there. And then he's like, computer, I said, terminate program <laughs> and then she's like jordy no this is this is a real me i'm sorry oh my <laughs> god that could out. still happen yeah. like after the events of this episode because yeah. yeah. he seems to me making progress on this front over time mm. yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no dan no oh, we'll no, get there. no. We'll i'm get just there. saying yeah. like she, what do you mean no 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 he we'll can get, get with there. her Dude, just because he's, she, he's right she, wing. She rates his pass at her as a good one. And then she d- decides yeah. on her own to take him on a walk. I don't know. I do I, like in that meeting. I have, <laughs> I have thoughts about Deanna and her, the way she's acting in this episode. It's, um. I have no oh, I would love to hear them. It's she's, definitely she's, worrisome. When we get there, I would love to hear she's them. She's free to do whatever she wants to do, dude. She's a modern woman. She doesn't need to be told what we to don't do. Need no, no, Riker's man. like, bitch, are you fucking someone else? That's what he was like. <laughs> She was like, I'll never how tell. How good was this? How successful was this pass? How good, how good was his dick? How good was his dick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that she was wet. Too. She was, was wet it, oh, when she yeah, when he yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. She was. I don't know. She was I, a little I, moist. I feel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What happened? We are like moist. Mm. Um, Damn. So they do. Dan, oh my god they do I one can't. of those scans on his head and they're like oh this guy's really smart now dude <laughs> weird's going on he's really fucking smart he's really smart now dude <laughs> <laughs> and, and, he's like he was really high yeah his pubis is really it's really his pubis is wait bushy. did we mention that did we mention that the pubis like no <laughs> that he was at just at 10 forward and Deanna goes up to him and he's like so what's going on and, he sh- and he's like you're what's going on yeah, yeah. Like he's smooth as shit, dude. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good he's, one. <laughs> you know he's really good. Yeah, and he's yeah, like, he's like, hey, do you want to go for a walk with me into the holodeck? If you know what I mean. And she's <laughs> like, no, 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 we can't, we can't do that. And he's like, I'm just looking for a smart, classy woman to hang out with me. If you know what I mean. Mm. He probably and just wants to harass Keiko. Woman. Yeah, yeah. And and I just said it really crass, like it's really crass how I said it, but he said it fucking smooth, like Joe Camel. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just think, I don't know. I think this is the beginning of like, we could have this conversation of like, okay, you have a coworker and someone you used to counsel and he's had these programs about you sexually and we know how he feels about you. Is it okay to just walk in and kind of entertain with him? And, you well, know, I don't know. So here, here, wait, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I ask yeah. another question? How many fucking counselors are there in the fucking ship, Sarah? Just one. <laughs> Who is she yeah. going to date? She's already dating Riker. She's probably his it's therapist true. as well. But this guy has a, it, there's a past you, of him you, you, you having have this a, You have experience. a thing against Broccoli Rob. You have a thing against Broccoli. <laughs> because well, he was, he was making programs about his, that's about not against her. The law. And that's it's weird. Not the law. And yeah, well, I know we question, talked about this. How is it any different than a dream? I don't know. But well, I mean, I, I will say, she seemed pretty upset about it at the time. Well, no. she was more of like indignant at the no. time. They, they were, I, the thing, it, the one thing I do like, one of the things I like about the episode is that it is a good showing of not just Barkley's progression as a character, but also crew around him, I think, interestingly. Because I think this is a, my, my personal philosophy is that like, okay, if someone does something bad and they make up for it and they reform from it, we shouldn't like stigmatize them forever. Yes. And we should allow them to become better people over time. Yes. Otherwise yes. we're just stigmatizing yes. everyone and they can't do anything, which is why, I, is why I think I like the way he's treated in this episode because everyone's like, yeah, you did some weird shit. 
but we're giving you more chances. And until you got but the brain takeover. Inv- but should she involve herself in that, knowing what happened? Like, that seems... Well, I'm um, talking she's about still, I guess that's her call, him. but... Like, but she's yeah. still seems, counseling him, right? I mean, at that point... But does before, she have an intention to mess around? Is, like, No, she to, didn't. But like, I feel like, is that leading on? You're you're mixing, you're mixing what happened at the end with what happened with the rest of the episode before it, before he got his brain thing, she was just counseling him and she was just speaking to him as a counselor. And they were just being like, Hey, you're making a lot of progress. You're becoming a better person. And we're all helping you along the way. Jordy's also like, I guess I'm talking about later in the episode where she's definitely like touching. Yeah, But I think that's jumping ahead. I think that's a different thing altogether. I think it's a different. I, uh, I just think I even, feel like it's a even, valid part of the conversation. No, but I feel though. like even even like she is she's coming up to him one on one, right? Like she sticks around after the theater in the beginning. She talks to him and says, "Hey, you've done really great." Is that like really appropriate? I don't I don't know. Knowing that this person well, the beginning, definitely yeah, has the, feelings for you, right? Like for me as a woman, if I knew somebody definitely had feelings for me, like definitely was making programs, you know, all this stuff. And it was like a huge thing. Right. And then would I stick around after a theater show to talk to him one on one? Would I go find him in the bar and like do all that? I just feel like that's a little if uh, your profession is, is as a counselor and you're trained and like, all right, this is this is how behavioral, you know, this is just what this guy is doing. And you you saw him fantasizing about you, but your job is to like counsel the guy back down to earth and be like, all right, I know why you're acting out like this. And then he's making strides to be more normal and to integrate himself with, with his coworkers, with his crew, with all of that and going, wow, you're making really... The things that we talked about when you were fucked up back then, you're actually making strides to better yourself from that now. That's great. What's going but on? But shouldn't you, know, you save you're- that for like a session, not alone after a theater performance or a bar? Like, I just feel like it's not one. The signals are not. I mean, they're 100% all that great. The, uh, you know? I mean, she's sort of like, a counselor 24 seven. To be like, honest, I, I don't mean, know. I just feel like it sends the wrong signal. A but also, think- what, what what do you what do you what do you is it against? Is it I bad that she, could- she that she may have like that she may be like oh this? Is it bad if she does have feelings? Like I mean, well, I don't think she wrong. does. I think I think well, yeah, because because at the end at the end she asks for a date. <laughs> So yeah, I, 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 maybe she does. Maybe she wants to fuck around. Maybe that's her prerogative. You know, I guess that's fine. Yeah, actually. I guess that's why I want to have this conversation about it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I just think yeah. it's interesting. Well, Given that her position, I think it's more like this crosses the line between like professional world and like, okay, Deanna as a person off work. Like, I don't know. It just, it just feels weird because the nature of the jobs of the crew like it's very yeah. like, well, like well, that's always, but again again but, then yeah. then how does anybody date like it has to be yeah the, I guess the, so. it, it, it can't be that way because well that's been the a, problem in, with the enterprise is that yes. like in, a, in an actual navy ship or, well again one gene roddenberry would be like it's not the actual navy they're not actually military yeah. they're not gonna com- don't don't compare they it that act way. like but, it but they do act like it so if we're yeah. making the comparison to like American Navy, let's say this would be completely not allowed. Like you, you could get like, yes. like discharged for this. But I, so. I feel like this is more like a like a like a corporate workplace kind of where you're like, well, yeah. as long as you you make your intentions clear and you put it in writing with HR, you can date. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you can date um, each other, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Because they're because definitely it's a, weirdly loosey goosey. Yeah, 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 because it's a hybrid yeah. of both a, a professional setting and and like a military kind of infrastructure Structure. yeah yeah uh i think that there's no choice but to be able to do this like, th- like i guess they can't really go be. anywhere else and do it yeah. right like that's yeah. like yeah. she yeah. can't be her if she wants to have casual sex with random people i guess it's limited well yeah. what i find most enterprise? notable about it is yeah. that you know deanna herself during that conversation in 10 forward says you know she turns them down after repeated attempts right and then yeah. She actually explicitly says, I don't think it'd be appropriate because I'm a therapist. Like she pretty much just right. says that. And then yeah. well, that's how I feel. She, yeah. Like, is it appropriate? She's a therapist. I don't know. Well, or by her own words, it seems like she didn't believe that to be the case. Like she that's seems right. that yeah, yeah. So that that's why, like at the end when she does agree to go take him on a walk somewhere, it's like, what what is that? That's the thing. Never mind. I feel like, like what that's is the intention? The, the you know? ending, I think, is like 
from a writer perspective, it's like, oh, this is like a nice little bow on this mini thread that happened in the episode. Sure. But from like a character progression logic perspective, it's actually like, like you're saying, really contradictory. And I don't think mm. appropriate. I think it's more of like, oh, it's like a nice happy ending versus like, wait, she maybe didn't really want to do that. You know, like I think Sarah brought it up when we were talking. She said, well, if they went on a decide to go on a walk, didn't call it a date. They were just hanging out in the Arboretum. She said, well, take me to the Arboretum. Let's go on a walk together. And they just walked together. She, sure, I, that's different. I think, yeah, you were saying, I yeah. think that's, that's like, that would make sense. That's appropriate, but she, yes. But and she's I, like saying, think we're that, on a date, I'm holding but your she also, arm. But she hooks yeah. his arm, right? You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. but I, I think that, I think that could be platonic. I think it could also, you could also read it as a response to, he's gone through this huge event where he, he was, you know, very unstable and irrational and emotionally stunted and then he became very smart and very confident and all that and then when he says how do you feel and he's like i feel smaller it could be her as a therapist saying well you're still barkley and you're still a person that i would want to take a walk with you're still the person you know there was something inside of you that came Does out he still have confidence. those feelings though because when she agreed I mean, to the it, walk he pretty much like fist bumped Jordy and was like, oh, yeah, you know, like, I got I mean, her, you know, like it was just like, it felt very like, uh, I didn't get that reading to, to from me, it, but like, I mean, it was to me, very it does strange. feel very he like, was like a writer, score, you know, a writer being like, and he gets the girly in yeah, the end. Exactly. It, it does feel very much like that. He's which got the girl. I, I, I don't, I don't I quite never, agree. I never felt it like him getting the girl at the end, but I ahead. know, but that does part of me feels that, the, but the other part of me actually thinks that. Well, there is an episode, speaking of Teabag, we brought up Teabag this episode. Uh, yeah. In the episode where Teabag came, she was speaking with Riker, who's freaking out because she was engaged to Teabag. Mm-hmm. And she was like, oh, I see. Humans still have this trouble discerning between physical love and emotional love. Yeah. So true. to Deanna, physical love is whatever. Like, she actually doesn't think about it as, like, yeah, actual she fucks, real love. Dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So she she only thinks of it as, like, mm. a fling or, like, just something fun to do. Yeah. Uh, so but then in she, her dealings with, like, her own patients, I feel like she would probably also, like, try to keep that in mind when... Yeah, probably a bit more. For, for but, what, but, how she interacts with them. So but, I mean, she, she, has knows, that she knows how humans are. Humans... You know, they shit. get they yeah, get yeah. fucking <laughs> they get confused. They catch feelings, so to say. You know, right, right. So I don't know. They're also it's very like loosey goosey with knowing protocol. Knowing how this in guy, f- knowing how this guy feels about you, knowing that this guy has like wet dreams about you, are you still gonna <laughs> hook his arm and like go on this walk? With well, him well, knowing all that, like it, I don't know. It, I think it's okay. I, I don't. And I don't as a hate therapist it. too, right? You've also seen him in a professional way, right? Uh, so, uh, Sarah, you're talking about people who, who who let a child build a weapon of mass destruction here. Okay, <laughs> 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 you, 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 don't forget the that. rules are don't, different here. <laughs> the rules are different. They let they let they let, uh, they let a, <laughs> yeah they, they let a child who's guess, wanted for yeah. war crimes multiple multiple war crimes. Just walk about and 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 uh, you know be conduct a, a, experiments a, with the war. Yeah, conduct, conduct, <laughs> conduct, I do like yeah. I do like Riker's little tinge of jealousy when he's just like, "What?" It is like, funny. It is really funny. He's yeah. like, but I like uh, how I like how he uh, never loses a smile. As as yeah, like, yeah. it's not like he's jealous. jealous yeah. as it might goes, be, was it successful? Like, like, yeah, it's like you didn't say like, anything about was, whether or not was it his dick bigger than mine. I don't know. Tell me, yeah. give me the deets. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. when she yeah. was like, "I'll never tell," he's like, "Ooh!" Oh. Uh, he just like walks. She just walks away without telling him. And he's like, he's yeah, like, no. Ah. Yeah, um, it's, so, it's interesting for sure. So, anyway, so back to the fucking- storyline. <laughs> Broccoli Rob, uh, they're, they're conducting experiments and something goes awry. And Broccoli Rob is like, I can't think, I can't, these machines are too slow for me. Right. So he goes, the, the array is, yeah. is, it's not working according to his plans because the computer is not fast enough. Yeah. He's and like the problem computer. is the stakes are the array. If it fails, it's like dozens of nuclear weapons yeah. going off simultaneously. So it'll be really, yeah. really bad. Like it's everyone- Krypton yeah. bomb. <laughs> yeah, so so be. he he runs over to fucking to the holodeck, right? Holodeck, yeah. And yeah. he builds himself a supercomputer and he connects it to the computer and then he sucks himself his brain gets sucked into the the computer 
and it's lasers. He's, he, it, yeah. yeah, it's like the Riddler. Oh, I love remember that the Riddler? effect. Yeah. Remember Batman oh, yeah. Robin? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it is. Oh, oh my like, God. It's yeah. the Riddler's Sex fucking himself. headpiece for oh, Batman yeah. 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 forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah forever. <laughs> and so he, he's in the computer and he's, 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 he's in it. And he, he basically fixes the thing that was wrong. Yeah. Uh, but he gets stuck in the computer because he, he's, his dick is too big to get out and go back to his body. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so he, so they're like, his mind dick. Yeah. yeah. Rock, Broccoli, go back to your body, you piece of shit. And then and he's like, I can't dude. I'll, I'll kill his body. Dude. His My boner's too, too big to retract. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this big dick energy is too big to go back into, the, into such too a small far in body. Now. I can't yeah. go back. So they're like, Oh, we'll leave him there. Let's go to, let's go to the, this base that's nearby. And get him out of there. Get get an exorcism going of the ship. <laughs> and, and, and and fucking. I guess that's kind like, of the imp- implication, right? That yeah. They'll be like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Jordy's like, Jordy's like, oh, what we'll do is we'll we'll put our manual and not let the fucking ensign fucking drive because uh, she'll <laughs> crash it. But we will put our manual and then the computer will, will shut it down so he won't control it and he won't get pissed, you know, and blow us up. But while they're trying to do this maneuver. Fucking broccoli, Rob becomes self aware, dude. Like a fucking like Skynet, mm-hmm. dude. He starts talking to them like hell. Like, yeah, he, he, I do. So can I just doing? say that this is probably one of the coolest effects I've seen? Like the little the laser lasers show? into his head, <laughs> and he's just sitting on the chair, the and it's party? just like, yeah. I tried to. I, I thought it was cool. I liked. I liked this like weird room, and he's he's talking with his mind, so he, it's just a voiceover, and he's just like looking. Like acting with his eyes. It was a perfect replication of his vocal cords. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. he's just like, to, like looking at everybody and I was trying to understand how they did it because whenever I read about it, all of anything just says is they just use lasers. I was like, but how? Like lasers don't just show up on screen. You have to like put smoke or something. So like right. I, I don't know how they did it. I don't it know. Looks if it like was, the room could be a little smoky. Looking did they back like at add it more in post or something? Or I don't yeah, know. Post. Yeah. Oh, and then, like, they fucked around with um, frame rates to make it look crazier. So that was interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know what exactly. Oh my they were god, doing that the- that was the weird moment when they were going through that whole thing, that weird effect they had. Oh on. right, but that was this, oh, that was in this had, episode. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. When they when he that finally was so that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chunking express effect mm-hmm, where mm-hmm. once they're going through the force, the the whatever the warp distortion the, is, everyone's the distortion, like <laughs> subspace distortion. Yeah, yeah, the subspace distortion. I, I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. Yeah, His yeah. neural network like holodeck setup just reminds me of Tron. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of like the MCP. He's the MCPing it. Yeah. Hmm. And so, fucking, he's in the computer, and they're trying to un- unplug him. Basically, they're basically trying to take him off Wi-Fi. And yeah. so, um, <laughs> yeah. they're trying to do that. Jordy's like in the bowels of the ship, and he's like, uh, wearing a fucking ov- some overalls and Back um, the old tube. Yeah, yeah. and uh, basically, Bro- broccoli Rob's like. Oh, I figured out a way to travel through space faster. <laughs> and the, the the he starts uh he, he he starts going through space at an alarming rate. So much so that like they're getting distorted and they're they're getting stretched yeah. out and they might mm-hmm. die. The, yeah, it their might kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Might not be yeah. the same ever. <laughs> and um <laughs> and so he he's stretching literally their molecules and shit. And finally like they're able to stop it and it turns out that they were basically being called by this weird, creepy old man uh, <laughs> that's part of this really smart race of people. Yeah, yeah. I love um, how he just shows up and like, ooh, what's going on here? I'm just a big yeah. fucking and they, it, it moved them. <laughs> it moved them to like the center of the galaxy or something? Yeah. Like somewhere yeah, they've yeah, never been before? Is that yeah. right? Like it yeah, reminds me of yeah. the ending of like a regular show episode where they meet like the all-powerful <laughs> being at the end that is just yeah, some big yeah, dude yeah. with a beard. It's always some guy with a beard. Yeah. They were originally going to have the actor just walk into the bridge but then they were like <laughs> we've done that so many times and like they're at the center of the galaxy it's got to be something cooler than that so that's why they did the big head distortion projection I mean, they thing. essentially did that in star trek 5 that's true yeah actually but where that movie was not yet made right nine uh 
I think shit. it was. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, it did. It did. It did. Sorry. Yeah, 91. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. This is 91. Yeah, it won so. a Razzie. It won a Razzie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Undeservedly <laughs> so. Uh, Star Trek V, very underrated. People give it shit for good it's reasons. Not bad. But it's, also, it's just it's, it's just not the height of Star Trek. It's just It's fine. not the height, but yeah, it it's, was <laughs> it was severely undercut. But anyway, that's a, a <laughs> podcast for a different time. But it was the same thing with the they go to the galaxy the center they of the do, galaxy. Actually, and it's yeah, a they, giant old man s- head. Cyborg forces them <laughs> really? to go into the forces them to go in the center of the galaxy to find the planet, right? Like I feel like they should have made yeah. the old man not look so humanoid. Like I don't know, they should. That's have, a Star like, Trek thing. They, 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 they don't to, explain it, but you you do you essentially extrapolate that they're trying to communicate with them in a way that they'll understand. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. that's the way that Maybe. I do. Yeah. Like contact, uh, like contact. So yeah. you see Although something that's like not seem so to be scary. Like, he does seem to yeah. be introduced to many details about their forms when he gets there, though. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, like, well, we, they're we, bipedal, we and they have this yeah. this structure. They look we like this. look like wow. big dicks, but we look like this. So <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. So um, was the thing what, that pretty they, bags like, of water they. Yeah. Bring instead of going to explore people, they're like, nah, we're not, we're going to sit on our couch and you're going to yeah. come yeah. to us. We're going to door dash yeah. the rest of the universe to us. <laughs> to us. So yeah. That, yeah. yeah. You're in luck. We're an Uber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and so, so, so the old man shows up and then, and then he's like, who, who the fuck are you, old man? And then Broccoli Rob shows up and he's stuttering again. He's like, uh, I think I can help you guys. <laughs> he's like I shaking. Know. Yeah. He's yeah, got the he's vaccine shaking. shakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> That's right. He's got long COVID. Yeah. Uh, so then um, he 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 explains like, oh, they had got into my body, and they were guiding <laughs> us here. They were they, they you, you know into my body. Yeah. It was a ghost yeah. machine, and they were just guiding us here, basically. Mm. The probe was was a beacon, basically. That to and bring then, like, them over. It, it didn't know how to interface with our computers, but yeah. it accidentally interfaced with with Barkley's brain. Yeah, uh, yeah it was like, like the worms on the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's like, <laughs> he's like this, that's, that's the that's what this episode is parodying, by the way. That episode of Futurama with the worms. Really? Yeah, it yeah. Is yeah. this Wait, episode. What? Yeah, and this yeah. Fry eats a bad egg salad from a space gas station, and then he becomes like super intelligent. Because the, the worms, worms repair his body. <laughs> oh they improve his body hundredfold and then he uh, becomes super amazing. intelligent and I love that. play the holophoner easily. And, and then <laughs> and then what they what they should have had Broccoli Rob do is play this song right here. Let's see if it plays. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that would have been oh my god. Can you imagine end credits, end of the song, you know, like Narles, playing it out? Narles I love Barkley. it. Um so then oh, it all fits. It'd be yeah. perfect. <laughs> it all fits. It like and it works with like the theme of the episode, the song. Oh yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So, oh yeah. So, oh so my then, god. There's something so special about this place. Marvin, so then, we need it, we need a TikTok <laughs> with that song. Please. No, I can't. The, we're gonna get I'm flagged re- so fast. No, no one's gonna get flagged, flag, dude. No one's going to jail, Marvin. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then, and then we're going to CBS, CBS jail. They'll put us and, in there, CBS. And then they're jail. like, Well, well, yeah. everything's fine. I, I guess I guess we could spend five days here with these dudes Ten that just kidnapped us. They spend a week and a half. Ten days. Wow. The center of the galaxy. And then now with the heads. The yeah. episode the episode ends and they're like, well, we spend time with them and we, you know we learn some shit. They learn some shit, and all's well that ends well. So let's get the fuck out of here. And then yeah. she goes off with Barkley and she's like, oh, I still love she you. She gives him and a then, handy and, and then the he knows how to play <laughs> chess. Yeah. He knows how to play hand chess, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's right. uh, yeah the implication is that Barkley's intelligence didn't fully go away because yeah, he walked because he's able to like do this weird chess move. Or, he can still yeah, be a huge dick energy. and ruin other people's games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He did yeah. ask, may I? And they did yeah. not, yes. So, yeah. Okay, okay. So you know, no. Then that's my bad. I'm the dick yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember when, 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 Lu- when, uh, <laughs> Do you guys remember that episode of I Love Lucy where she, where Ricky taught her how to play golf? No, I don't and then, remember that episode. <laughs> oh my God. God. Vaguely. I, every time somebody says, may I, I think of that. Because <laughs> he's like, he's like, every time you take a, a swing, you got to say, may I, before you swing. What? <laughs> what? Oh my God. That's so what? crazy. Because he, he's trying to confuse her and, and, and make it really complicated oh, I see. so she won't oh, want to play golf. Oh, I see, golf. I see. Uh, but may he just say, may I. He's a may I, and he moves, he doesn't move, and then, uh, and then Deanna's like, ooh, me, he's got that big dick energy still. Um, and then <laughs> yeah. she goes off with him, which is fine. I, I love it. I think this episode was really entertaining. Yeah. I loved it. I like Gnarls Barkley. I don't like that he turned so right wing, uh, but <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. but that was that was then. This is now. And now he's a piece of shit. But back then, he, good acting on this dude's part. 
Yeah, um, it's, it's great, really great, actually. A very interesting episode. It, there's a lot of plot holes, like always, but it was really fun, and I enjoyed it, and I liked his acting. It really kind of it showed off this actor a lot because he was doing like he yeah. was doing yeah. theater acting, he was doing bad acting, good acting, regular robot acting, acting, yeah, acting with your acting. eyes, with your face. I mean, yeah. No, Every time so Dwight accurate. Schultz shows up, he like he kind of steals the show. He, yeah. He's like. Yeah. Uh, because he's a very different type of acting. Everyone else is acting very straight. But I think Dwight is willing to act a bit more out there and comedic and a yeah. bit like over the top. And I think it really That's makes true. him stand out in these episodes. And I think he's a Gnarls really Barkley of, of Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The closest well, you get. Well, well then what would, what would we rate it? What would Oof. we rate this episode? Um, I like it. It's not like, like the best, best. So I'm going to go eight. So I have somewhere to go. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. I think I would but go with good. eight Fun. and a half. Um, okay. It's close to being a perfect episode. If to me, there's two things that are a bit weird. I, I I agree with Sarah. I don't like the ending where the way she goes off with Barkley. I think I have a problem with. You guys um, are haters, dude. What are you talking <laughs> about, <fucking> man, dude? <laughs> I I think like the idea of her. I think if it was definitely more of like a oh we're just gonna go on a walk together like friends and we go on a walk. I think that would also be like more of a progression of the progress he has been making throughout the series, and I'd be like oh good. But to me, it it personally I read it more of as like a writer being like, and then he gets the girl at the end, and all is well that ends well, sort of an ending, which is like. Mm-hmm. Kind of how they writ- wrote a lot of stuff like that at the time. So, you know, that's unfortunate. And the well, other that, thing that, is what I, that definitely yeah. is like how Galaxy's Child ended. Yeah. Yeah. Where it, yeah. it's so- yeah. sort of. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Exactly. Where he's, he it's gets like the marriage. Trope. <laughs> it's a trope for the time. You yeah. Know? Well, yeah. Like, and then he gets the girl is like a cliche unto itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's a little annoying. But then also, I do think. Jordy uh, LeVar Burton wasn't directed correctly. I think it makes sense for him to be like a little annoyed for passing rank, but kind of making him super jealous and kind of petty is weird because they don't follow through with it. They change the way he acts halfway through. Because when I'm they're having okay that, okay with it actually. Because yeah. it, you like, think so? Okay. Well, it, just because it's like it's it's a reaction that someone can have, but I if he it does have that reaction, I like that he's able to overcome it so quickly. Okay, because, that is mm. yeah, you can because you can he's it that way. so uh, well. Also, because like the rate at which um, Barkley like accelerates and and like completely outpaces like everything and becomes so extraordinary, it's like at first it's like what the hell is like well, what the hell is your problem? Who are, who are you? The but stakes also change too, right? Like I think you know. They realize they need him to solve their problems. Right. Well, yeah. Right. It's like he doesn't hold on to that petty reaction for the pulp show. And that would have been really bad to me. But like mm-hmm. by the end of it, he's just like, yeah, like this is extraordinary and a little scary. But like I'm just with all the rest of the crew now. Like we're just trying to survive here. Right. Okay. Which yeah, I'm okay I, I with. Can, I could agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Eight and a half. Eight and a half for me, I think. I'd say 8.5 as well. Um, I did really enjoy this episode. It was the first good episode in a while, I think. <laughs> I think some of them were, the last couple episodes were not as riveting, but this was really riveting. It was really fun and it had some really interesting like film effects. I love the effects of like the distortion mm-hmm. and the lasers and just kind of like the idea of being transported to the center of the galaxy and being very you know just foreign and like meeting these weird creatures and um you know I, it made sense to me even though there's always like lots of plot holes and stuff but it was a good story i yeah, thought yeah the only weirdness yeah i agree with you is the deanna thing i i don't know how to i don't know how to read it i'm not saying it's right or wrong but like just based on everything when i think about this relationship all i can think about is the weird holograph holographic um hologram yeah, ho- um yeah. Holodeck, God, Jesus. Um, holodeck, <laughs> you know, sure. love sex scenes with Deanna and things, you know, like everything that he was doing. And I think they set up a really weird foundation for their relationship. So now that she's kind of like entertaining him a little bit, I'm like, what does it mean? I guess. And then your point, Ricardo, like, I, yeah, she can do that. I, I guess the rules are different. I don't know if they have any rules around this kind of stuff, but it seems weird that she's a you know, a therapist. I don't know. So, yeah. Like, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I don't know if I said anything about this on the podcast before, but through my work, I have seen pamphlets, brochures given to, you know, licensed clinical therapists as part of training 
that are simply titled Sex is Never Part of Therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for Deanna and on the enterprise, it is. What do you think? In the Ricardo? future, sex it, is this is so important. We need to emphasize it to you via this <laughs> via this pamphlet. <laughs> sex <laughs> is not part of therapy, <laughs> therapist. Uh, I so so a couple things. I think that we're really quick to give Jordy like a pass on him being a creep. And oh, no, I'm not. I'm not. I am not i am not i am not yeah. you just give a pass. What do you mean? And like, 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 like we're, he's a creep, 100. percent Like, we're. Do you we're mean we're more forgiving of, we're his, of his actions? We're be, yeah, we're gonna move on. I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and with 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 Narles Barkley, I feel like <laughs> like we're being tough, but like it's funny because this this is kind of like I've been talking about this lately, which is. Like a lot of people got canceled, right? Like um, mm. Louis oh, C.K. Yeah. got canceled. And yeah, stuff, Louis like, C.K. But then played Madison Gardner. Yeah, or whatever, and, 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 and that's day. important. And yeah. and I and I heard John uh, Barenthal have like the best explanation because he had he like interviewed Shia LaBeouf or something. And so someone was interviewing John Barenthal and said, "Why did, why would you do that? Like he hurt people. Blah 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 blah." And he said, "Because I love him." And he said, because I love that guy as, as a human being. And if you're not there to check somebody when they do something wrong and tell them, hey, you did this wrong and you have to fix it. And you're not there as a friend to check and balance them. Then how do you expect them to learn? Like, you know, like that's why he's like, that's why someone who like beats their wife gets divorced, goes and beats another wife because no one's there to be like, hey, no, you got to you got to fix this behavior. People are, people are just like, ah, let's just get rid of him and, and not deal with him. Done. Where. Mm -hmm. And 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 he, he he was talking about second chances, and he was talking about how like, I mean, there's a lot of things you can't forgive, but there's a lot of things that we as a, a, a if we're if we're gonna be canceling people, which I think it, it's everybody's right to want to cancel somebody, we have to be willing to give people second chances, and especially things like this where it, it's it's a gray area, like what what Narles Barkley did in the previous episode, it's a very gray area where it's like, mm -hmm. it's really bad only in the eye of the beholder. Well, is it, is it's only a simulation, but is, is it bad? The that fact that we had a discussion about yeah. it, I think it means oh, yeah. it's like, well, you know, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know. But, but, but if she, as a, as a therapist or whatever, she is a counselor, I think that you have to also give her the benefit of the doubt that she knows what the fuck she's doing and she's a professional and professional enough to know when is she's crossing the line and when she's not crossing the line. Is that like, crossing the line? I mean, that's, but, but, but that's what I mean. Like you have to give her, if she's, if she's doing a job, then that's, you have to give her the benefit of the doubt. Like, then hey, well, I, she ask, would know. I she go would back know. to Dan's thing. I mean, if you have to hand out pamphlets that say sex is not therapy, I mean, but, but, but also, uh, she, like, also you, you seems have to like take, people know across the line. I don't know. But also, she's a counselor, not a therapist. Oh, I don't uh, know. I mean, which I don't is know. a little different. But also, yeah. again, it, we always come back to the fact that this is not your typical workplace. We're not. Yeah, this that's isn't. True. This isn't America, circa 2023. We this are is, looking at it from our like present day corporate yes. workplace. Nor is it technically yeah. America, it's, circa it's like, 1991. Yeah, or, or it's, like, <laughs> it's like when people are like, "Oh, it, it, there's nudity," like or like. I'm not afraid to show my kid nudity. You know what I mean? Because like nudity should, we should take out sexuality from nudity. Like yeah, you can be I nude and be totally fine. Like, like mm -hmm. boobs have nothing to do with sexuality. Yes. If you, if you don't, they don't need to be like a, a human a, body is, shouldn't be human inherently body, sexual. Yes. 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 And we're just looking at it in a, in a Puritan fucking way. Like, Oh, this, you shouldn't do this, but who knows what's going to happen in the future? <laughs> like we have to also project ourselves into this, multiverse of madness <laughs> um, that's true yeah. where it, it, you know it, it could be fine it could be that uh, she's like th this checks and balances itself and maybe it's not a big deal to fine. find out somebody's yeah. been making pro sex programs about you yeah but so the whole thing and we mm -hmm. talked about this in that in that episode the whole thing was it, just the fact that he got caught because he was obsessing about being in the holiday. He was late and, to and work, it was, right? It was it was late interfering with yeah. it, it was interfering with his duties, and that's why yeah. it became an issue. But the fact that it was like, oh, he made Riker a short guy, and then that that finger got pointed <laughs> at Riker. Well, you're yeah, you're you know, you're this or that or the other, you know. And then and then it yeah. got pointed back at at Deanna, like, oh, you're you know, you can come off as ethereal and blah blah blah, and like being you know, sort of. You can have this impression on people. So it was basically pointing the finger at people that weren't so obvious about their fantasies and mm -hmm. weren't so obvious at at expressing their their inner yeah, desires. Yeah, Jordy, Jordy kind of said to him like, "Hey, just be better at 
turn on your VPN, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and even like Riker. Yeah. He, he don't let it interfere, his, interfere with his your life. Harp, his harp ladies. And you know, who knows yeah. what, maybe she, they could be real people. Here's the thing is that like the closest we can get to that is like, if we had a, f- we had a mutual friend, a coworker, let's say we had a coworker and that coworker, we knew she had an only fans. And mm-hmm. I'm, I, and I'm, I subscribe to her OnlyFans and I'm on it all the time and it makes me late for work. Is it bad <laughs> that I'm looking at her OnlyFans all the time? It, it's just putting, it, it, you know what I mean? She's I mean, putting it out granted, there. Granted, she, Deanna isn't on as OnlyFans. As long as you're paying for it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. As long as, you, as, long as you're not pirating. As long as you're so, not looking at the reposts yeah. of it. But, but, but also like the, mm, the lines point. the lines with with the the holodeck are very very fucking blurry like yeah it's a, it's different from the only fans because people. it's yeah it's also different yeah. from the only fans because the only fans is she is definitely yes, yes, consensually yes. putting it up versus yeah. but, that's but true, also that's true it's like also in, again, i'm inviting holodeck, you to this holodeck fantasy that i created yeah, yeah. i am here but, in the fantasy but again i made it the holodeck yeah. is very 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 a very weird place because Technically, there are no rules. There's people. There's. I mean, they killed. They've killed people in the yes. holodeck. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yeah. really, if there's, if you can kill in the holodeck, then you can have sex with anybody. And it's not Just like be it's on not, the DL it's about not like, it. Right? No, is that even that? Like, here's the thing: Broccoli Rob wasn't like uh, violent in these these scenarios. No. Um, in fact, I would say he was trying to get confidence. Confidence to yeah. talk to her. Like, because if you notice in, in the in the holodeck episode where he was uh-huh. in, he was confident when he was talking to her. It, yes. it, it was he was yeah. building his confidence. When the when the simulation went down, that's when he started stuttering again and and not being yeah. sure of himself. Uh, maybe that's how Deanna saw it. Like that's maybe maybe in the episodes we didn't see, she's like, Oh, okay. Maybe he's if he was being confident, he was building his confidence, so I shouldn't be like, oh, it's not. It, it maybe he just put me in it because he he feels comfortable with me, and he would he would feel comfortable with me being confident like that. So you don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah, I'm just talking. No, about it's my it's it's no, it's all valid. I think that's that's all like that's the interesting part of this show is it makes you think about all the different options. It's so yeah. far from what we have available to us right now. But, but also, ways, the show's but written by a dude by dude. So who the fuck knows? <laughs> that's see <laughs> see that was that was the that's point. True one of the points I was going to bring up, I, I agree with all of your points about, I am, I am very much into restorative justice over punitive justice. Like I don't like just punishing people. Yeah. I like making them. Okay. How do we get you back to being an okay person? You know, I, yeah. I don't, cause I, I don't like, cause that's not helpful just to be like, no, just go to jail for 10 years. So that, that be, doesn't be, fucking fix you, you know, because or, this is, it's, it's the equivalent of going like, Oh, this priest touched a bunch of kids. Well, let's move them to another church. It's yeah, like, or yeah, 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 exactly. So <laughs> let's, not, fix these, let's fix this. It's not fucker. problem solving. Jail yeah. would be it's, better than that though. Yes, it would. Exactly. Anything would be, <laughs> but, but like a systematic change would be even better. Than yeah. That, you know, so this, that's what I sure. mean. But, but to me, the the thing I can never get away with from these episodes is that it is just written by yeah. some guy. So like I, all of these voices are kind of the author's voice. Yeah. And therefore that's why the ending to me is very much to me the thinking I see it as that uh, the author just going, uh, then you got to give him a happy ending. You can't just have a, like a yeah, downer gotta, ending. The guy has got to so, get the girl, right? You know? Yeah. It's so yeah. interesting that you, guys, that you guys fall on the, he, the guy gets, he gets the girl at the end because I never read it as that way. As mm-hmm. far as watching it for me, it just felt like, it it was more, and this is maybe my I don't know ignorance of the whole situation, and, and no, being a guy say. because I don't see it from that side of that side of you know that point of view. Uh, more of a developing of a camaraderie and a friendship between Deanna and Barkley, and going from that thing where the, there was a holodeck fantasy and all of that. Yeah, you could read it as like, well, now she's just exacerbating that, but mm. you could also be it as like she saw something in him, and then she sees him feel defeated again. So I give this for me, it's a it's a nine of an episode. It's not a perfect episode, but it's a great mm. episode. And again, the majority of it is because Dwight Schultz is fantastic in it. There's there's yeah. very there, there's yeah. a lot of small moments where he's the way that he can shift between the bumbling sort of fool to the confidence that you know you see that it's like just exponentially builds and then it's taken away from him and that that line when it says like how do you feel and he you see he says smaller and just everything that happens in his face when he says that word Mm -hmm. it's 
it's devastating because he realizes that he's now going to be the same person that he yeah, was that's before all this happened. Moment. Yeah. Yes. And I think oh, Deanna, cool. in a way, I read it as her reaching out and being, no, we recognize you as you're you're more than just what you feel like as a failure. And yeah, let's because Riker is like, hey, I'm gonna let's go do this thing. And she's like, No, Barkley, you you owe me that walk when you were confident, when you felt this thing that was somewhere inside of you. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give that mm, back to you. I can see what you're <laughs> saying. I can you're like you know? acknowledging that like, you know, it's not just the big brain. He doesn't need that to boost his com he, he is enough as is, it's, you know, it, like they yeah. it, it, I, I I read the whole thing as and the, she's you know, the flowers of that, Algernon. Right. Even though the, even though that was the aliens' influence, there's something that these type of stories is that that seed is somewhere inside of you, and yeah. it just requires somebody to bring it out in you, and that's yeah. how it came out. And then it was ripped from him, and she is recognizing that and going, "Well, I'm I'm still gonna I'm gonna help sustain this within you." And I and I saw that as more of a friend reaching out or as a counselor reaching out than the guy getting the girl at the end. I, I think it would have been. Well, the only confusing was, part is the is the touch, it. the touching. That's that's yeah. what confuses me. Is well, the I think that's a nineteen ninety one like, yeah. TV most. trope. Yeah, uh, yeah, that, I guess so. Yeah. It's probably a thing of the times, but that's what yeah. like confuses my mind. Because as soon as you like grab someone's arm like that, I'm just like, uh, that's a I don't know. To me, that's yeah. a pro that's a producer. That's somebody yeah. off the side of the set going, "We need to drive this home to the TV audience because they're stupid." You know, you know and I think that and they do. Yeah, that, so. I think the yeah, tempering moment in that scene is he takes a moment to say, "You don't have." to do that when she says let's go take a walk oh yeah like when 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 she like brings the idea up herself and it's like hey you owe me a date at the arboretum or like you know we we're gonna go there now and he's like wait wait you don't have to like it's it's okay you don't need to do this for me and she's like i know but let's just let's just go yeah. and yeah. so it's I will say personally, I, my, I, my, I, I feel like it gives credence to Scott's interpretation there. Yeah, I do like Scott's interpretation. I think it's super valid. I mean, I hope that that's what the writers were going for. You probably came up with a better interpretation than they originally had, but you know, that's, that's, <laughs> well, let's go with it. You know, I, I will say 30 personally, years, 30 years of looking back on it sure does help. Be, like I, I brought like, up oh, the writer that good. <laughs> specifically yeah. because these episodes are written kind of, the writers kind of all write independently of each other, right? They're just kind of just writing as the mm -hmm. season yeah. needs, right? So that's, I think that's sort of as reflective of how I originally saw this episode. So this is actually my first Barkley episode when I was watching Star Trek. So, mm -hmm. and, and this oh, wow. is my, my biggest memory of Barkley, this episode. So to me, this is Barkley, but this episode is not him as a weird sex pervert. This episode is him just being socially awkward. And that's all the context yeah. you get. So sure. if you're writing from that point of view, this whole arc is actually super appropriate and actually completely makes sense. Um, yes, but we so, have the context of the past episodes. I know. <laughs> so, I, but, but what makes me wonder if the writer didn't necessarily have that full context yeah, either. Yeah, that's a good point because the context mm, of the last episode really changes the perspective on how you interpret this episode for sure. Yeah, yeah, because it was written by Joe Minoski, sure. who is was not the writer for what's it called? Hollow uh, Pursuits. Hollow Pursuits. Yeah. So I'm I'm guessing. I mean, it happens from time to time. There's some disconnect here and there between the the, the character progression between episodes. So I feel like that could be part of it. Part of it's just, you know, again, it could be part of the times. Yeah. And I think overall, like, despite what could be made of the ending, it is an interesting overall idea. And I think it works really well. And I yeah. think whatever could be happening with the ending, it is an interesting ending. And it is an interesting way to to close it out. I Definitely. think it was interesting. I think it was an interesting context at the original time where I think people would have thought less of it. And it's even more interesting now that we have a large discussion about it and how it may or may not be appropriate, et cetera. I think that 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 keeps it enduring. I, I think it's interesting to me. Yeah. The holodeck is just endlessly fascinating as a concept. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it is. It, it seems all, like the that's really that where come with it. everything is. Yeah. Like it isn't no, just yeah. what you can do, being but what it would mean. <laughs> And Deanna being a counselor that's not really treated as a counselor on the show is also endlessly yeah. fas fascinating how they're unable yeah, like, to Yeah, it's write funny because it's like character. she's she's just as much a Starfleet officer as anyone apparently, yeah. but she you know, rank. she's the yeah. only one who dresses up in the blue dress for the performance. Yeah. Everyone else is in uniform. With, with, with yeah. yeah. It's because yeah. the producers want her in that dress. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she looks look, pretty look, hot, right? She's, <laughs> she's, she's an attractive, she's, she's an attractive lady. Woman. <laughs> she really yeah. is. And they're like, you know what? Yeah, people are going to have some weird, sexy, hollow, yeah. 
you know, holodeck time with her. It makes sense, you know? <laughs> Sorry, so, you made the sexy woman on the show the counselor of the show. All right, let's try to figure out how to write for that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nobody <exactly>. ever did. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I mean, she's definitely gorgeous and she, you know, she's an amazing, you know, they, they know that. The writers and the people know that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> They're using that. Um, what was because, Dan's you score? Know, yeah. Dan, uh, Dan, Dan oh, yeah. Score. I didn't give one. Oh, yeah. I am going to go with Ricardo on the eight train. Mm -hmm. um, nice. But I did nice. want to, uh, nice. I, I think we kind of skipped over it because we got wrapped up in another point of conversation. But when he's in Holodeck 3 and he goes mm -hmm. over there and, and he turns out to be talking to Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's just funny to me that, that it's like in the 24th century, you, you still, still end up going back like and talking <laughs> to Einstein. <laughs> There the are Holodeck still no better your, mathematicians than Einstein. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you've probably got you've probably advanced a lot past Einstein's, you know, last known living theory. And sure, you could give current theory and and you know learnings to a simulation of Einstein, but what's the point anymore after that? It's because they just talk to a computer. They need the audience to be like, "Who's smart man?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he like did that, say we need to prove he that he's really he was smart. smart. He needs to be able to talk <laughs> to Einstein and impress him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did say he was talking to the computer, and then he was using the yeah, holograph yeah. of Einstein because yeah. it seemed the most logical. But yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's it's a good point. It's like we we're, we're just never going to get past that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny, which is sad. <gasps> maybe. <laughs> Einstein was the height of our, our of our society, yeah. and uh, we'll never get past him. Uh, nth degree, we got we gave this nth degree the nth degree. <laughs> Why is it called nth degree? Oh wait, because of the Einstein scene, is it? I think it's like his his no. his intelligence was like upgraded to it the just nth went degree. beyond the nth degree. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Like the nth degree yeah. is sometimes referred to as like you know so exponentially higher like or infinite. increased oh my yeah, god it's it's like, so high got it so. okay yeah, oh my god like, oh my god well the nth degree newbie star trek uh-huh thank you for listening everybody wait well, we you got, said that was like yeah. <laughs> so that was like a joke <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys have been listening and you guys have been enjoying uh, it would be great if you could give us a rating or review wherever you are uh, you know either Apple Podcast or uh, Spotify or YouTube or Podcast Addict wherever you are if you have any time you don't have to this is cool if you do you know we look at them and we go oh cool there's a review there cool it's great do it. <laughs> and also if you guys ever want to send us an email you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com that's contact at newbiestartrek.com send um, it send it yo send it uh, <laughs> uh, I think only send Ricardo us your contact. remembers where that's from uh, <laughs> so <laughs> if uh, we have two short emails this week because one is just someone elucidating a question for us we had last week. I thought you were about to say someone's angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> someone's mad. We'll get right past that one. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, uh, this is I. I they didn't. They didn't sign their name, so I'm not going to say a name. But they start off with born Coward. and raised New Jersey in here. I was hey. listening. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry, uh, I was, continue. I was listening to your latest podcast, and yes, there are definitely a good amount of people working at the toll booths. I've only <gasps> ever interacted with them when my Easy Pass isn't working and I have to pay with actual money. So yes, what? Oh, there you go. So wait, there is people? Yeah, toll booth workers still exist. Oh shit! <laughs> I wonder if he yeah. remembers when they had that horrible, you know, hike at the turnpike. <laughs> I was hoping you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Well, I learned something today. Yeah. Here you and go. the next email, uh, they explicitly said, if you use my question, I would overwhelmingly prefer to be anonymous, unattributed. So I will right. not say any names, but their email begins. Hello. First, thank you for the podcast. I consume it on YouTube. So I suspect consume. I am at least an episode or two behind where you are at the moment. My question is primarily about your opinions in the holodeck. So I thought this is appropriate. Mm. Okay. Oh, do we have opinions we about it? <laughs> Buckle up. I don't even know what my opinion is, honestly. <laughs> question. I know you discussed the subject of using real people you know in holodeck fantasies, but I don't think you discussed the subject of altering the people in a sexual context. For yeah, example, we did. I think we did. Having like a holodeck movie, version to an extent. Having a like holodeck version D. of your partner, but also using the technology to enhance the attractiveness yeah. of your partner. Yeah, I think Ricardo did talk about this. enhancing their physique, eliminating blemishes, or even augmenting yeah. your sexual organs, yeah. or augmenting their breasts or bum. Or for that matter, what if instead of using a version of your partner, 
you were to use a version of your partner's sister who oh, may be more oh, conventionally no. attractive. Thanks again mm-hmm. for the podcast. Oh boy. But we did talk about this. We because Ricardo, I think I you were like that as a we, hypothetical. Were, we were kind of talking yeah, yeah. about like, is that ethical if like you're with your partner but you like change certain things about them? Like, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. I asked that question. Like I remember so, like, we yeah, did, went to the hot act fan- fantasy yeah. with like a really hot version of Marvin. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, 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 like Marvin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin has like blue eyes and like blonde hair or oh, something. I don't know. Okay, so when he, okay, is that what you want? Still, okay, he's still right. fixing no, uh, extra wallets. He's got one here and one <laughs> yeah. here. He's, yeah. like, he's popping cards out left exactly. and right. Bam, bam, oh, okay, bam, bam. all right. Um, I know. I mean, we did talk about that. A I mean, bit. The, yeah. the quick thing is: in are there any even ethics now? Are there? Are there any? <laughs> Wait, is anything off the table at is this point? Is anything off the yeah. table now? Like, like, on, on the holodeck, holodeck fantasy, feels... I would argue probably not. Yeah. yeah. Um, In terms of I just like... I think some some conventional things like animals and weird stuff like that, I think should be off the table. On holodecks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, holodeck, holodeck is whatever you want. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the holodeck the is, world, is a pseudo-physical manifestation of a of your fantasy of your brain. <laughs> so how can it be any different than anything you can imagine in your brain? I mm-hmm. yeah, I I guess that's true, and, and I can't tell you. Illegal? I can't tell you to not think about yeah. it because you're just no one's think getting about harmed it. okay true, okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're okay put, enough put, with yourself to ask for it from the computer verbally then you deserve <laughs> it <laughs> okay, here, here, the thing. dan okay that's a good theory if you have to say it out loud right that's because that's how it works that's how the holodeck works you have yeah. to right. just say it out comfortable loud. enough to oh. say it out loud <laughs> okay here's the thing here's the thing yeah. if, if a if a real westworld existed I would definitely go and kill kill another cowboy and <laughs> fuck a whore. So, yeah. what is what is the difference between that and the holodeck? Which is it's the same thing. Only one of them yeah. is digital and one of them is robot. Well, that sounds like more hassle. Yeah. No, now if I if, if I if I'm interested in in killing a man in Westworld and I'm interested in killing a man in the holodeck, am I wrong? Is there something wrong no. with me? Mm. Uh, no, I mean, if, I, if it if, were a curiosity, no. no, actually, no, I would just say, actually, that's just absolutely no, because you, 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 yeah. you very specifically said, I'm interested in killing a man in the hollow deck. That is already fine. I, I would okay, argue. No, I have, no, I, I no, 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 to replace that with anything else, I want to fuck <laughs> Deanna in a hollow deck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, I have I have kind of a serious question that's related that really this has been trending on TikTok and I think it's really relevant to this conversation. Okay. So the two sides of this argument is so you have a partner. Uh, I, I think it's very important that it's a heterosexual relationship, male and female. Oh, okay. okay. Interesting. And okay. in this okay. heterosexual relationship, the woman says to her partner in our sexual relationship, I want you to hit me. I want you to whoa. Okay. I want you to hit me. You know, like okay. it's part of like a, a thing. Now where people on TikTok are torn is the man's, the male's response. Is would it be a red flag? Like, so there's two responses. One response could be yes. I, I can't I can't believe you asked me this. I'm so excited. I'm so <laughs> down to hit you. <laughs> like I can't okay. I can't believe I scored this hard. I would love to hit you and like play this role. The other response is um that's an interesting request. I would have to think about it. Um maybe it makes me uncomfortable, but maybe I could try to work my way up to it if that's something you want. Now, some people on TikTok, women mainly, have said that if your man responds in the excited way, it's an immediate red flag, dump and run. Like a man, a guy has no right to respond in that way. It actually says that like the fact that they're excited to be violent, even though you ask the question, is a super red flag, dangerous, no. And the right response should be, I, I'm, I, it's going to take me some time. And then some people in the kink community are saying that it's shaming this man for his kink of being I was right excited I was about to say if there is woman. if they are both yeah. in the context of like we do BDSM they'll just be like okay how do I, how do you want me to hit you you know yeah. no I like, think it's yeah, different yeah. than that uh, oh, okay. so this is like here, here, punch me in the face can I, can I okay yeah, yeah. Here's, here's my I'm my ready I'm open for for opinions yeah. as long as there's consent who gives a fuck <laughs> 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 I fuck? think it like, says something like, about you. Long, I'm, no, I'm of the people, yeah. I, I'm of the opinion that it doesn't give a fuck. Like, just, if someone says, "Hey, do you want to go and fucking 
you want to test drive this Porsche? Sure. Fuck yeah, dude. I don't, I fucking hate Porsches, dude. (laughs) <laughs> I hate Porsches but if someone's giving me the opportunity to drive a Porsche fuck yeah I'm gonna fucking take it and I'm gonna say fuck yeah I hate Suzuki's if someone said you want to <laughs> drive a brand new Suzuki I'd be like I fucking hate Suzuki's and I don't know you're if breaking make Joe's them, heart <laughs> but let's fucking go uh, I, I don't think uh, yeah, I, don't think I think it's, a, it's red a red flag for me I, I will, would I would, I, would I, would, say, I would not be happy with that reaction if but I'm not I sure if this said this, to my partner this is and not they were also excited. this is not equitable to the holodeck yeah yeah well I think it's it brings up a good question around like you know I don't know it just made me it's think of something that was going on in the on sense and, that yeah. when y- people are given full license to live yeah. out a fantasy what kind yeah. of fantasies are they most, what, ex- what are their most excited to, to live out and but also, like is oh. that a red flag of any kind like to me if you <laughs> said your fantasy was like okay you're in the holodeck and I walk in on you doing something with an animal or hitting a woman in the face I am going to think of you differently I'm not I'm not going to want to associate with you you know like I don't oh, care that oh. it's you know mm-hmm. In ba- back to back to your your original <laughs> question. Yeah. Back to the original scenario. Yeah. You. What if what if my kink is giving m- whatever my partner wants pleasure, and if that's the, the one thing she says, fuck yeah, whatever you want, as long as you, I have you have consent and it's a I safety think, thing. I I don't think it's a red flag. I think you're putting on. I think the excitement of yeah, I don't know. It's you're me, putting it's something just, onto. It's, uh, uh, why why not tw- twist it around? What if what if she said right away? Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd fucking love to cut you or something. That's fine. See, what's weird is I th- I mean, for me, I think it's fine that way. Like, I think it's well, that, a red then, flag for. And I know, it's, it's I, know it's I know, it's and thing, I know, and I know, and I I know, I I know the arguments that could be pointed about my opinion about it. But I think if a guy, I think the right response is to be hesitant. And not, why? Why? Um, why? If some if something is consent, con- and I don't if, think that if, that's if you don't conditioning. know that much about each other yet, yeah. I yeah. feel like that is a fair. There is thought there to is have. there is a mountain like, of context that is missing from this yeah, equation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah, don't yeah. Ask, you don't that's ask very people questions thing. like that. This is this, this is different. I'm just bringing about, you guys up to speed on TikTok. Well, <laughs> one this well, is TikTok what's going on right now. So I don't think it's busy. way too one sided. <laughs> they're shading that to get an opinion. They're yeah. shading it in the context of the woman is testing the man, and if he answers a certain way no then no that's it's not a, red a test flag. it's just no, for but, me but that's, i think but that's, yeah but that's but that's what the that, but that's what the context of the ticket but everyone has are a two different two responses and one is a red flag and that's a test and you well, and flip mean, it yeah. and you say no, well, what if, me, what if, what if the flag. man sa- yeah but what if the man says to the woman look we're having a, an amazing time you know what would turn me on even more can I hit you that's more of a red flag <laughs> yeah, yeah that's more of a red flag <laughs> exactly that's more of a red flag than the woman <laughs> yeah. saying I want you to hit me also, and the guy Sarah, saying th- there is a ma- that's great I want to do that too because if massive- he never brought it up before it doesn't matter yeah there's a massive yeah. difference and the context is extremely important for a question like that what if context you're on a are you missing well, 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 Scott, let's put, say, Scott, well, put, Scott, so Scott gave a good but, context. Scott gave a good context. But, but let's say, like, okay, the, <laughs> a bad context is we're on a blind date. Okay, the yeah. girl says, "I like yeah. when people punch me." That's a bad context. A good context yeah. is check, you've please. Been, yeah. You've yes. been with your partner for years. Yeah. You both decided to start watching BDSM porn together after oh, you no. finished. I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you asked me, if I asked you to punch me in the face and you got excited about it, we would not be together anymore. I would but 100% again, break up. Again, it depends on context. But why would you ask him that person. to get that answer? Do you I, want that I to think, happen? Do you get pleasure from it? No, I yeah. think I would. Well, yeah, why so would you ask it? Yeah, yeah, if, you're the person, yeah. if you're not the type of person uh-huh. who would ever ask it in the first place, it feels yeah. like fishing for response to uh-huh. that question yeah, doesn't make any sense. I would sense. ever ask that. I, I would just be alarmed by an excited reaction. I know I would people that would looking. ask that question yeah. and be happy for the yes response. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So, I think I think to each their own. I think it's an interesting. I, I you know, I do think you're being a bit uh, like I'm king shaming. shaming. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So a no, no. Bit. I think no, but I think this is interesting. This is what's come up on TikTok. Because there are no, definitely because, people on both again, sides. Because I, I think here's it's the problem with TikTok. I think it's TikTok, interesting. TikTok is like video Twitter. It's designed to be. <laughs> yeah reactionary 
and not actually have yeah. discussion. It's why I hate discussions on TikTok. I think they're all bullshit. I think none and of Twitter. it is ex- ever valid. It's, it's all because bullshit. Both I, of I the, think that's both sleeping. Of, no, no. I both don't think these, I've even seen discussion these, on TikTok. Both of There's these no platforms nuance. are designed you, to make- I'll send you the TikTok that I'm talking. And I, don't, also, I, don't, I don't care because no, both of also, these platforms are designed to make responses in short bursts, which is not this, a way to have this discussion. Is the test. This is a test. That's if, the you open, if you open up the TikTok, <laughs> she's going to shame you for opening up the TikTok. It's why like, I don't actually engage outside of our- newbie star trek tiktok on tiktok and i don't even do anything on twitter because like i don't even know what tiktok is i, I think i, just, I think I just, it's just <laughs> an interesting question and i'm not saying there's a right or wrong answer i'm definitely not saying you that. literally are no yeah. that's a thing yeah. no 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 <laughs> i'm saying for me no no you're 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 me- you're you're really mistaking my stance on it as like this is the opinion everybody has to have and if you don't have that opinion well, well, you're wrong and like what's i the don't opinion, that's just what's my the opinion, point of view what's the main is there a poll that people are doing or what 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 are what? um it's just really just different responses on tiktok they'll like stitch the video different people are will comment and i don't think there is a writer like i'm not trying to say that like some people are like that's kink shaming other people are like yeah that's a super red flag but you, you know but you did um, to be fair sarah to be fair sarah you said anybody that would say yes to the to the response of that question is a red flag no, to, to, yeah, I, in my opinion, a partner. No, I didn't mean like you, like as the people I'm asking. I meant like anyone that I am, if I were dating someone, like that's what I meant. Like in my context, my personal bubble context. Okay. Exactly. Like, like, context but, 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 is what, what matters. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but would you, would yeah, you really, exactly. but, I don't think you, there is a, for me, there is no context where that's okay. That's where, for me. That's fine. Where, for where me. you, would you and ask all of that question? is encapsulated in your own yeah. context. Yeah. And yes. this is where in TikTok fails because context. Context. it's, yeah. yeah. they're, tr- they're trying to ask this question to get this answer. Yeah. You know, and I get it. I just think it's interesting hearing a small to a large comparison to the audience. I think it's just interesting to hear all the discussion around it and and i i it kind of made me think of the holodeck and like the ethics around that and that that's where i got the question from and where i was because i was watching a lot of videos in my fyp about it and like it was just kind of like hmm what is it was an interesting like (laughs) for your page oh (laughs) you know what i think the best the best response to that question is it's like a targeted thing. The best <laughs> response to that question the, is, the what kind of hit are we crack. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you because there's actually a video of, a, of, a, of, well, see, your answer might change based on the video because the video was prompted by this this user, this lady who posted a TikTok of her getting punched in the face. Okay, a punch um, in the face is a little, is a little far like, for me. Okay, slapped in the face. Well, it was pretty hard. I can't remember if it was a punch. It's it was very a, far for me. Listen, I've really, watched porn, really and if a, guy starts, really if a guy slap. starts slapping a girl in a porn, <laughs> I'm out. It's, it doesn't interest <laughs> so, me. It doesn't turn me on. I'm not excited about yeah. it. I, but okay, I, so you there know, you go. We know what your answer will be. Yeah, but, but yeah. If, no, but, but no, I've already <laughs> said my answer. It's like if she's asking the question and she consents to it and he says it's okay, that doesn't make a red flag for that relationship. Yeah. But yeah. I wouldn't do it. I'm not into it. That's not my thing. But I'm not going to kink shame people that are into yeah, it. The, the, the I question, might, I might yeah. turn away from mm-hmm. those people as being in part of my life. But I'm like, you go do your thing. And I've done that with people in my life. Yeah. You go do your thing. I'm not going to be a part of that. So yeah, whatever. It, it is, so that's it is a choice that I make. It but it's the like, question yeah. is removing like the people involved. It's removing the context but right, of what this question I, is asked. I, I personally believe there is no context in which it's okay. Like none. Like I. That's just my. That's I mean, my if we're talking about, about a full on punch to the face, then yeah, it's it seems like there aren't that many contexts in a which it would like, again. But that's again, like again personal. The, the, it's personal against, difficult. Also, yeah. again, that it's context. Like like. Are you are you uh, uh in in this relationship for years? Are you are you just dating this person? You 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 also didn't give a context of when you a- you when you asked this question. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did that's you go on couples really... night to the Fight Club? Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> yeah, did you guys go see Titanic? Did you in guys go in the TikTok in question? Did you guys go see Titanic and then you got really excited because <laughs> Billy Zane's character is a dick? And you're like, I want you to punch me like one of your French girls, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you say? Did you say punch or draw? Wait, what did you say? <laughs> I, well, the, I, the TikTok I, definitely does not provide the context you're you're referencing. There's no I, nuance in TikTok. There's no yeah. nuance in Twitter. What? Oh, oh surprise, surprise. I, I, yeah, also, I, I don't. 
I don't see how that, I guess, kind of, but I don't see how that relates to the holodeck. Well, it, it, it kind of just got me thinking about like a more kind of like if you had a place where this could unfold, like it, it was kind of like making my mind, it, it was just on the top of my mind. Yeah. Kind of like think, why Dan were saying was like, if yeah. you could have this place where your dreams can become a reality without any judgment or, you know, anything like that or societal pressures, how far and what would you do type thing? So, you know, this is, so this that's kind of resp- what made me think about this, that. This is the way I would approach, because I, I understand your your approach now, but this is the way I would think about it. Let's say some dude is like, oh my God, as a holodeck, I never had a holodeck before. He goes to the holodeck. First fantasy he builds is makes a woman and punches her in the face, right? And then and jacks that, that, off to it. Yeah. And wait, that's because because that because that's kind wait. of like the equivalent of what you're saying, right? Yes. But then yes. my and if if someone like a, say a, a, like a psychologist or a counselor was privy to that, I think I would then be like, so why was that your reaction? I don't think I would then become like, okay, you're a bad person. We should get no, rid of you. No, I never said yeah. by bad no, no, no. person. I said red flag. I would right, ask, right. why is your fantasy to punch a woman in the face and jack off? Why is that? Well, that's the thing. And I, would say, and I would say, why are you looking at my fantasies in the holodeck? You violate my privacy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna, this is a private yeah. space. Yeah, it's yeah. private space. Yeah. What okay, are you let's doing? Say, let's say that you enacted your first fantasy of punching a <laughs> female in the face and then you jacked off to that and you went to your therapy and said, hey, I would just had my holodeck for the, fir- for th- for the first day. And the <laughs> only thing true. I've done so far yeah. is punched a lady in the face and jacked off to that. What do you think? <laughs> then that's... I mean, she then asked I, for it. it. I mean, it'd be a great... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, <laughs> program it. That's it's what I programmed. Yeah. She yeah, enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah. She asked for it and wanted it. And then that becomes yeah. a point of a like psychological discussion. But like, I why think. do you like that? Why does that make you aroused? That, what, why does it matter? What does it matter why something arouses somebody as long as it's consistent? Consensual. It, it, th- uh, that's king shaming. I, I draw the line at some things, animals, violence. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I'm just well, saying. That's a, when, but, that's but that's not, not consensual. That's not, not consensual. consenting to that. But that's not consensual. <laughs> the animal doesn't consent yeah. to that. Yeah. So that's we're, we're talking different. about consensual. St- <laughs> like, oh, okay. Here's an extreme consensual one, then, Ricardo. I wonder what you think. There's a case of the famous German cannibal who got off by like eating the dick of his partner. So he found someone in the classifieds eating who, like yikes. actually eating literally cooking i remember watching oh. a play by Stuart gordon that was about this called taste and it was actually very good it was an ex- excellent play <laughs> um <laughs> i mean um, did it just say based on a true story or like how, yeah, how and, verified and it's, is and it, this and it's a true story like there's there's a, there's a true story of a, of a german cannibal who okay. asked for someone in the classifieds for this someone responded because it turned out their kink was getting eaten by their lover that oh, was like no. the fantasy that they always wanted. Okay. So those combined and indeed the other person was killed and eaten by the other partner. Is that okay? Consensually? Well, well then, then you're now you're, now you're crossing the line. Cause you said kill somebody. Yeah. That, that's not a consensual thing. I was with you with, until that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like here's, a, here's how I see, especially when it comes to like sexual stuff. If, if, if somebody's getting killed or, or hurt, beyond like a recovery. simple thing of like <laughs> yeah because beyond recovery then okay then, then okay then, you know okay. I mean? okay. you, you, you forget you also forget here are the two things with that that you, that you said one never compare us to fucking germany dude <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, never, yeah. never. <laughs> Two, n- never compare. Like this happened in Germany. Well, well, fuck, it's Germany, dude. Like, there's no, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, fucking crazy. What can I say, dude? I know uh, we have at least some <laughs> German listeners. Our last email was from a German guy. Yeah. So, You've come a long just, way. <laughs> You've come a long way. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, uh, you're one of uh, the good ones, listener. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, oh, here's the God. thing. Here, uh, to all the German audience, dude, we have the same thing here. It's called Florida. Uh, yeah. That's true. That's true. Florida is, yeah, is, is the from. same wild place. <laughs> um, well, you're not kidding. Can't you confirm. are from Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Yeah, you're Sarah's, not wrong. Our, no Sarah's our detected. resident Florida man. <laughs> um, yeah. and, 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 and the other thing is, is you, you're forgetting that that you have to be within the accepted laws and, and yeah, yeah. ethics of your country or, or of your wherever you're from. Mm. That's but you're I going think beyond I, that, I, but. I think, but even then, you you should like take into consideration whether this is a weird way to say it, whether those ethics are ethical. For example, if you're like super puritanical and you're like, we don't do butt stuff here, 
And it's like oh, that's well, true. That's true. Well, well yeah. But, but, but stuff's fine. Like like sodomy yeah. was literally illegal in America until like not that long ago. <laughs> so that's you true. Know, that's true. So you, you, you know, bring I, it, and it, you bring an interesting point, but but within the accepted, I guess, ethics of humanity. You know what I mean? Period. Mm. Like, mm. like <laughs> we've established that killing each other for no reason. I guess if you if it's a revenge killing, I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Depended. laughs> yeah, revenge like, killing okay yeah like yeah it depends on the person I mean. uh, by the way i don't know why there's more n- like every day that goes by i'm surprised that there are any aren't like a high amount of vigilantes like going around because mm. like you things you see like, there should be you more know, right there should be more yeah. yeah it doesn't it doesn't well the math doesn't add up in my head there should mm. be more the math doesn't it, add up i would imagine head. that if we had many more we would have far more reports of 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 mass tragedies yeah, yeah well not not even that way i'm just talking about like a drunk driver running over somebody's kid and and like, yeah and, and yeah. They, they go through the whole trial and like yeah. go to jail they come out and those people are still alive i don't understand how that works mentally yeah. You're wondering why there are no punishers out here. Yes, yeah, I don't. No, no I, I was There's telling, I was no, telling yeah. Marvin this the other day. I was like, I think I might go punisher mode if something yeah. like you know, if, if somebody, I had a, like, if I had a holodeck fantasy, yeah. I would go Michael Douglas and falling down. Yeah, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm. Oh, and, and just just a simple. You know what like, I mean? Is that like <laughs> yeah, yeah. like but, like like, fuck uh, society. like somebody's somebody yeah. like uh, has road rage and kills somebody, and then yeah. they stand trial, and then they they do their time and come out. Like I, I'm all for second chance. But like, as a victim yeah. of of said crime, I don't I don't see a world where like I'm like, well, yeah, fuck it, we're good, you know. I mean, no, if you're talking I, about I someone hurting or possibly, you know, God forbid, killing a brother, a sister, a mom, a dad, a kid, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you just wake up and continue to live life. I would go punish. I was like Marvin. I guess I'm quitting my job and going <laughs> turning into the Punisher because <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine some of the things you hear that happen to people in the news. How they yeah. just carry on. I mean, yeah, there I, are I there not. there are real life people who try to do superheroic antics. I mean, like have you have you guys heard of Phoenix Jones? Um, no, right. sounds like something out no. of Florida. <laughs> well, Are you talking about it, the it, guy who dressed up as a superhero in his own neighborhood? Yeah, he's, he he was the guy actually who got, out of Seattle. Yeah, um, well, wasn't he? Wasn't he caught for like drug drug? Yes, that's how his saga something. ended. Where it turns out he was a drug dealer. Oh, um, but while he was also drug dealing on the side, I guess he was also like like helping stop like armed robberies and like carjackings and like people fighting in the streets and stuff. So yeah, that's I mean, true. someone once said. You either die a hero <laughs> or you live long enough what, long yourself to see yourself selling drugs. Become the villain. Someone literally <laughs> yeah. said yeah. that when he was arrested on a radio show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's right there. You have to. Yeah, you, you gotta do it. Oh, yeah. Especially since, it, uh, since he got arrested like several years ago. So the line yeah. is even more recent. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. it does happen. I just guess that. You know, sort of went, went like five hours. I feel like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got into a lot of deep conversation. Yeah, so. yeah. I guess but it's all just your opinions you know, are very interesting. Again, no one's right or wrong. I just think it's an interesting discussion, and I know you guys aren't on aren't are, are not on the pulse of TikTok as I am. So <laughs> sure. I just try to I try I to think, set, I try to update you guys on what's going on in the world. What's the conversation? Is all I know about is that long dog. Yeah, that's been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's here's why we're gonna go back to ExpressVPN real quick. Um, <laughs> I think that in the future, remember how now we say, hey, remember when our grandparents used to smoke in front of us and, and like smoke in, in cars and stuff. We're yeah. going to say, we're going to say the exact same thing about social media and about TikTok and about Twitter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And, and yeah. about, remember when we used uh, to post photos of our yeah. children yeah. and now those photos yeah. are being used for AI art without our yeah. consent. Well, no, no, no. <laughs> you know how like robots are killing our kids because <laughs> they, they have pictures of them. Yeah. And they can find them now. <laughs> because they have pictures like, we of just, them. we just yeah. used to post ourselves online yeah. and now we're just, yeah. you know, yeah. we yeah. suppose uh, videos of our now faces. Now we know to never post your, your photo publicly. So the yeah. robot, uh, assassination robots And now they can find, find you because they have facial recognition <laughs> yeah. and they have yeah. videos and, and photos of you and your entire family and they'll just yeah. Yeah. so yeah. so i got Future's off of facebook be great. and look I, and not not to preach or anything but, and and like especially like because 
we need those things to succeed as a podcast. But like I got off of Facebook and I got so much time back out of my day. Oh yeah. I yeah. I got yeah, off definitely. I got off Twitter and I got so much time back in my day. Mm-hmm. The only thing I'm on is Instagram and that's only friends and family. Like I, I'm on private. Mm-hmm. Um and I don't like that my wife posts on Facebook or or, <laughs> or I don't like that she posts pictures of my kid on it. Mm. It's a hard it's a hard thing. I mean a lot of um yeah, I mean, I have I have a family. I have my sister. My older sister kind of posts photos of my niece on the internet, and I, I always wonder, like, about posting kids online and stuff yeah. like that. Like, so have you? Uh, well, <laughs> no, well, I know also- I, I have, but like, I guess my sister kind of also have sometimes posted. You know, my niece is often without clothing a lot, so I just uh, sometimes wonder if that's okay to be mm. online and if it's. Reaching the wrong people sometimes. I do not post my niece like that, but right, right. Um, and I don't. I, I, I'm not. My like, niece like, just doesn't like to wear clothes sometimes, and she's in I, that phase of her life. <laughs> I'm not so. like crazy that like I'm like oh we can't fucking like it, it's more like I don't like it on Facebook because it's not a closed loop like mm. yeah and and even on Instagram she's not on private and I don't oh, like that and, yeah and yeah. even on Facebook she's not on. It's not, she's on private, but her web uh, is cast wide because she's like, well, I want to know what this friend is doing. And you're like, you haven't talked to them in like fucking 20 years. Doesn't fucking matter what they're doing. <laughs> it, they're, it's re- irrelevant. They're not going to, you're, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. At the yeah. end of the day, nothing matters. We're all going to die soon, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. I, I don't like, I don't, I don't like, uh, I don't like, I don't like uh, the pictures on the fucking Facebooks. Yeah, and you, well, you also wonder about like minors too. Like, are they aware of I have themselves no being posted like for, and things yeah, like that? Like I, don't wonder, Consent, I wonder. Blah, 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 I wonder if in, if in I wonder if in ten, fifteen years, when kids are older, they'll be like, yeah. "Hey, you don't have my consent to post that." Like, that's fucked yeah, up. Yeah, like, like I don't want those images yeah. of me out there for, yeah, as a I'm kid sure because exactly. like they're exactly. just out there. Right exactly, and and. I, I mean, I feel that way about religion. Like that's why I don't, yeah. I don't talk to my kid about religion because it's like it should be like smoking and drinking. When you're of age, you fucking you go and learn about fucking magic in the Bible. Uh, what is the appropriate <laughs> age at which social media should be like? Uh, you know, no holds barred. Hard. You, you get to use it how you like. I think I, I, I don't know. Like I think 18 is fine. 17, 16 is fine. Yeah. But yeah. I, but 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 I feel the same way about everything. Like the, if you're gonna make the legal drinking age 21, if you can go and. To, to war and die for this country, then you yeah. should be able to drink and do whatever. Absolutely. Something you want. Oh yeah, that, that should yeah. be the bar. That's fair. Absolutely. Yeah. The the day you could sign up for the army, then you should be able to f- figure out what religion you want to join that yeah. day, yeah. what what political party you want to vote for, all that stuff. The same yeah. age, not twenty one and fucking eighteen. Make it all the yeah. same fucking age. Either go eighteen yeah, or go. I do or go agree 21. with that. I strongly agree with that but yeah it, i mean i guess yeah. we'll find out when all and these we'll, young kids grow up yep. one day and their images are online and stuff I don't know. see you in 15 years guys we'll see how they react i guess one, i don't know thing, if i would have been too crazy about it I one thing know. i'm finding a bit nice about coming into the future of it though is that uh people realize it's a problem and they're coming up with solutions like there are companies that are designed to sell you a product that scours the internet and removes everything about you like you know, mm, yes. You know, oh, like the thing the cat woman wanted. That. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the clean slate. <laughs> yeah, people are selling clean slates, literally. I know. No, yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of people that do that because for safety reasons, you don't want your phone number, your address. Yeah. Um, for sure. One of my favorite that things targeted for things. Is there's a I forgot the name of the service, but it lets it automatically contacts all these companies for you and tells them, yeah. hey. You no longer get to have my personal information. Can you delete it, please? And it, they handle it for you. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. hundreds of companies oh, wow. at once. Yeah. Wow. So, that, so I think I've that's heard about great, this. You know? I've can heard you, about can this. Can you hire these people, companies yeah. to just tell companies to fuck off? Like, like <laughs> send an email to, to Target. Fuck off. Fuck Hopefully you. that's the future. Where, yeah. Please uh, unsubscribe no me from all these costs. stupid newsletters yeah. that you, you, keep you get sending a scam me call my and email. The, the response is just fuck off. <laughs> you get a spam call and their, their phone get, blows no, up on their side. Scam, <laughs> I don't want any scam likelies they, anymore. They, they, they paid extra for, for blowing up the phones of the scam like likelies. Scanner Darkly, but way less cool. Oh, it's a sequel scam to likely. Scanner Darkly. Scam, <laughs> scam likely. likely. 
Oh no. A scammer likely. Oh yeah. No. You guys get those calls where it's like scam likely, you know, oh, like yeah. and you're yes, like, oh yeah, yeah. scam likely is calling me. Um Marvin, Good old scam. This podcast because I have a joke I want to say and I can't say it on there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna forget it. I'm all, right, forget all right, all right. Well, let's let's wrap up this gavel then. Uh everybody, if you want to see other things we do, you can head on over to fugitiveframes.com. We have links to all the other shit we do, Fugitive Frames Film Podcast, the new the Fugitive Games channel, etc. Look it all up. It's a bunch of fun stuff. And uh, next week, we're going to watch Cupid. Guess. Oh, guess boy. Oh, who's, my who's God. It's coming back with a uh, name like Cupid. I wonder is this if it supposed will involve to be Valentine's aligned? Day. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't line up with Valentine's Day. Probably well, might. Could be. It could. It might. Yeah, it, okay. might. it might. So, yeah. That'd be cool. See. But yeah, we we've, we've gone on a lot. This might be the longest podcast we've done. It might but, be. Uh, I, mean, I don't know about that, but up. like a lot of time spent off topic. I'll say that. Well, I think yeah. the topics were related. Uh, they're all they're Loosely. very. These are you more. Know what? Fuck everyone. About. We don't have to stay on fucking topic. I don't fucking well, care don't, if you don't like it's it. It's called Newbie Star Trek. Newbie Newbie consent. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> what? Oh no! Oh, my God. <laughs> We're gonna get no, in trouble. These are all, these are moral like, quand- the, These are moral you, you quandaries. You talked about fucking yeah. consent for fucking two hours and about the podcast. Hey, for man, that's, that's part these of the are holodeck. All important things. The it's holodeck. Holodeck. You are, you know, we have a we have a rendition of this conversation every time the holodeck's a major plot point. We yeah. do. Yeah. That's we just do. True. Because it's a major thing, and maybe when we get the technology one day, I'll you get a window into us, all of. Sarah. Yeah, I'll get a window into all. You won't yeah. see me yeah. for a yeah. while, yeah. but I'm not going to tell you yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, dude. I'll just walk in and, and find your program, Dan, and She'll, I'll be like, "Damn, Dan, no, what the no, fuck are I'm you into?" I'm only going to get one with a lock on it. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Like well, you know what? Extra no, super ex- security. Express VPN. We'll use our Express VPN account <laughs> exactly. on the holodeck. Great. Yeah, Express VPN will expand into holodeck protection. And oh yeah. No one will ever know. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next week, everybody. Stay safe. Goodbye. Buongiorno. Bye, Bye. everybody. Of course. Oh, yeah.